What's up to the chat? What's up to the chat? What's up? Shark Tank representing the night. What's up to the Shark Tank? Appreciate you fellas showing up tonight. Y'all don't get them like buttons. Boys representing what a fam. My man, homeboy, Rex City's in the house. What's up, fam? Q, yo, Billy. Yo, Billy. What up, fam? My man, Kaleen. Kaleen, go kills in the house. What's up, fam? Long 
Valentine's supporter, Mr. Prentice Cars in the house. What up, fam? Shout out to my man, PGA412 in the house. What's up, fam? coming out tonight. Appreciate everybody coming out for this Hot Mic Friday. Appreciate the love. Y'all know what's up, Shark Tank. Y'all know what's up. You know how we do this. TCB TV in the house. What's up, fam? Y'all know how we do this. We're trying to set a trend around here. We're trying to set a trend. When the Shark Tank, if the Shark Tank, Tank can do it, everybody should be able to do it. Y'all don't forget to hit them like buttons. We need to get them likes up and get ready to show these people how we do this when it comes to this like button situation. Everybody has been following up on that because our likes have definitely increased. I'm trying to credit it that to the Shark Tank stepping up doing what they do. And I'm hoping it passes down to all the other channels. Y'all can do it here. Y'all can definitely make a big movement and step out and do that to a whole bunch of other people. And I appreciate that, fellas, when y'all doing things like that because it shows y'all doing what y'all need to do to represent what y'all do. The Shark Tank representing their brand. The Shark Tank stepping up, representing they brand. Brand yourself, fellas. Hold strong to what you do. Yeah. Super chat gonna be working hot tonight. 
You know what I'm saying? Anybody want to step in on this conversation? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all step up with that super chat uh, or them super stickers. I'm going to stop whatever going on. We're going to represent what you're doing and we're going to always appreciate whatever it is. Big shout out to my man, Mr. Pat Bill Rivers, stepping right in, doing his thing with the five piece. He says, salute GHK. I challenge everyone. Give $5. Pat Bill on the mission. Got the legendary Pat Bill in the shark tank. On a mission. Step up with that bill. Step up. Everybody's supposed to step up. That's the legendary Fat Bill Reynolds. And if he says it's right to do damn it, y'all better get them and do your job and get it done. Get her done. Appreciate the love, Fat Bill. Shout out to my man, the amazing Property Solutions Group, LLC in the house. What's up, fam? Appreciate you coming back, fam. Pick up that hardware, amazing. Tony Montana with the super chat. Appreciate the love, man. Appreciate the love. He with the double down 10 piece showing that love. Appreciate the love, man. My man, COVID 500 kilos in the house. What's up, man? To my brother, scratch line news in the house. What's up, fam?
Jams, Kennel, Art, LA Combine, Kennel stepping up in the Shark Tank, another long time supporter. What's up, fam? Hey, fellas, I really appreciate what y'all doing. I really do appreciate what y'all doing. All I got to do now is make sure we get them likes up, fellas. Don't forget to get them likes up. For all those who chose today to step up and show their appreciation, you know, that means a whole lot. Simply because when you do something like that, to me, I take it like you appreciate what you're doing and you're only going to donate to something that you believe in and you have faith and trust in. That's why you show up, you show out, and you hear. And when you do things like that, man, you can't help but appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And all I can do is just tell you, fellas, you know, all I can do is try to make things better by keep doing what I'm doing. And hopefully, hopefully y'all understand we do it for the fraternity. We do it for you. And when you're doing what you're doing, man, listen, stop it. Stop it. My man, SPO Kittle, stepping in with the damn super chat with the Twinkie. Appreciate the love, fam. He said, 6296913691, break this pedigree down. Tell me what y'all think. SBO, I'm going to take this number down. I'm going to make sure Mo throughout the in the show, we pull it up and we're going to discuss it, all right? Appreciate the love, fam. Really do appreciate the love. Shark Tank, why y'all got sitting here as we wait to get this thing started up right quick? Y'all go ahead and dive in there and see what y'all see. So we already have a good idea of what we're going to be dealing with when we come around to it. Appreciate the love, fam. SBO, appreciate the love, my man. My man, Dreadlock, stepping in with the stupid jack with the twinkie. Ten piece representing hard. What up, baby? He said, definitely didn't stop Shorty from proving himself as a champion pit dog and a registered mayor. His heavy, happy Jack blood begging for an outcross. I'm bringing to him. Appreciate the love, Dreadlock. Appreciate the love. I mean, I hope everybody taking the poll because you know we're going to have a conversation and I know this conversation going to be like off the chain. It's going to be off the chain. Hey, another bit. 10 piece for my man. Amazing Property Solutions Group LLC that jumped in with a 10 piece. Appreciate the love with the super sticker fam. I appreciate the love. Appreciate what y'all doing tonight. I really appreciate the Shark Tank. Y'all know. I'm going to do my part before we get this thing started right quick. You know, before we sit down, we got to make sure we get out. You know, Mo always cracking on me. They like, Mike, you always start to show off. But I be like, man, come on, man. I be like on point, I be like, look here, man, this is what we gotta do, man. 
I know he be trying to tell me to get it in order. My man Oak Man stepping up in the house. I see you, fam. My man Ghost 850 up in here. I want all you fellas to know that damn Shark Tank done stepped up. And I ain't never seen the Super Chat and them Super Stickers act like this and we ain't even started yet. I just want y'all to know that it's all been appreciated. And I look forward to doing my best. And I mean, when I say I do my best, you're gonna see what my work and what your donations do. And I help brand what I consider one of the best chat rooms in the Pitbull Podcast. And I'm gonna brand this. I'm gonna help you brand this thing we call the GHK Shark Tank. Because I want what y'all do here to spread amongst the whole fraternity. Because they can't tell me we can't make moves and do things when we all do it together. You can't tell me it can't happen. Because we're going to prove it right here in the damn Shark Tank. Appreciate the love, fellas. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? What the hell is up, fellas? Hey, look here, man. Appreciate, you know, y'all got to, I got, had to work late tonight and everything, and I'm just getting in. And you know, I didn't want to wear my, 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 my uniform today. I felt like it was all dirty and got all a little bit oily. Yeah, I'm trying to get out here and stay busy, man. Cause sitting around doing this this thing called man nothing, that guy they got me bent. Man told me I can't pick up nothing more than ten pounds. Then my damn two bag weighs twenty five. Hey, look, you know what you got to do when you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? That puts a little bit of emphasis because, you know, I'd be like, my God, you man, damn that shit, man. Get out there and do what you can do. But I do get out there and I do try to take it easy. Not easy sitting around doing nothing. You know what I mean? You got people around you that, that want to help, but I ain't kind of do all that kind of looking for that type of help when I'm used to doing it my damn self. You know what I'm saying? But again... This is why I sit in here and I do what I do because if you guys make it, you know, that much easier, why I be breaking my neck to get back in here to get this thing set up and then to see y'all doing what y'all doing. It's like, man, look, you know, we don't mean to push that issue because we don't push the issue, but to see y'all step up and donate to this cause like y'all donate to this cause, me, I always look at it that, you know, I'm always looking to move forward by presenting more things, you know what I'm saying? And, and really trying to make this something bigger than what, you know, everybody else think it is. Because to me, it's just more than just a podcast, you know, to, for me. The reason I did this was for my brother. You know what I'm saying? As long as he's still doing what he's doing, you know, that's what, that's how I got all involved in, in doing this. But then it became something more for me. Because now I find myself doing it for you, you know, going out and I, I struggling over, okay, I, that damn Shark Tank is getting big, you know, everybody's talking about the Shark Tank, you know what I mean? Remember, I put the Shark Tank on it because of people was talking about the chat, you know what I mean? You know, when people talk about something and always filling up our inbox about the, the, the chat and... You know, and I always push this because what I see going on in the chat, you know, that's what makes me be like, okay, hold on. You know, and then with the camaraderie there, everybody get on the same level. That's why we went with the blue thing. Give everybody the hardware because this is not like something, this ain't our show. This has become our show. You know, this show's nothing without y'all. So everybody who has that blue, 
believe me it's just not us just throwing it out there y'all are part of the show it has became a part of going hard kennels reloaded talk show and i appreciate the love and i appreciate how y'all handling it yeah we have our hiccups i mean we're going every family has hiccups but the good thing about our hicks up hiccups we fix them up you know what i'm saying and we keep on pushing remember we don't downgrade nobody we don't everybody's open to opinions around here you're, you're free to say what you say you know you don't have to worry about getting kicked out and you shouldn't be worried about getting kicked out because you shouldn't already know how to act you I mean that's the sole purpose of me giving up the blue because everybody's on the same level these are not children in this room these are grown men in a pit bull fraternity of the past and some other future and this is what we do we get together and we have our, our like dog nights you know what i'm saying like sitting around the campfire and doing our thing that part is one reason why i wanted to brand the shark tank and make it something of you for y'all that's the part i wanted to give back to you and i'm telling you man i've been working a whole lot and sooner or later, i'm fitting to get this this merchandise in here you kind of got a quick look at it the reason i haven't bought it back I just wanted y'all to get it just a quick look and see what your what your your logo looked at like you know what I mean and I got a couple I mean I got some good responses so I feel comfortable about it but it's really going to make a difference when I can get it out there and see how other people take it in you know what I mean because it's going to be on merchandise I just want to see just how many people we're going to see that merchandise outside of the shark tank that's going to want to be a part of the shark tank you know what i'm saying because everybody want to get on that bandwagon when it's rolling right and that's the reason why i felt like it's time to brand it because it's rolling right we're going to keep it rolling right and we're going to make sure it gets bigger and then in the process we're going to spread it the same brotherly love the same fraternity love we're going to fix the like buttons we're going to support each other's channels we're going to keep supporting each other that's that fraternity that might not have been there in the beginning but as we keep doing what we're doing and showing the love it can and will change things because it's amazing what you can do when you got the numbers it's amazing you know some people might look at it as a uh, well damn look what they doing and then some people might look at it and be like they doing that damn good job over there and show some appreciation for it and want to be a part of it them the kind of people i'm looking for somebody who can stop and look at what we're doing over here and look at that shark tank and understand yeah that's part of the show and appreciate what's being done and want to be a part of what's being done and as long as we keep to that format we're going to get bigger and we will be getting better so i didn't get a chance to take a quick look at the poll i just want to take a quick couple of these names right here i see my man my man oak man in the house i see my man mike dan up in the house i see y'all fam i just want to make sure y'all know the long time supporters you know my long time supporters my man lloyd taylor up in the house I'm trying to get all the love in while I can because you know when I get black ice and mo up in here they basically just kick me straight out you know what I mean I'm just sitting to the side and be more like this like watching the shark tank and I went to shark tank you fellas out there a lot of knowledge out there you know based on what we finna discuss tonight you know I, I, I actually got a quick view of what the uh the poll was doing and remember i told you every time you do a poll you, you know there's always a reason why we do the poll and we're going to discuss i know they're going to end up discussing that poll in some type of way now what we're discussing it didn't just something that just this is something that has been around in the past this has been a not a big topic of a conversation but I was surprised to see that a lot of guys and, you know, based on, you know, I go to everybody, you know, I, I get around on these podcasts. It was just shocking to know that a lot of people didn't know 
about uh Shorty Cowboy and his his little disease he was carrying. And just imagine, you know, look at look at the dog. The dogs are R O M. Now, I heard somebody say champion, and that part I'm not even gonna try to speak on because I wouldn't know. So based off this my little bit of research. You know, I don't get in the papers and getting in all that other stuff. I just basically take the, all the information they throw in front of me and then I try to figure it out and put it out there and then present it. Now, <clears throat> they might know a whole lot more than me. That's why I didn't address him as a champion because based on information that was given to me, it, it wasn't there. I mean, I was there, then I wasn't there. And I'm like, because I thought it was champion shorty cowboy, but then I was corrected because it was, they were saying, hey, there's champion shorty and then there's uh shorty cowboy two different dogs so that's why i didn't put the champion on there because I, somebody was correcting me on it and who am i to argue when you when you don't know you don't know so i'm gonna take it from my source you know and i'm gonna just follow it out like that but before we get started too another thing i wanted to address right quick was when we have the shows, and I'm always putting people on the Shark Tank, you know, I always tell people to, you know, when you're watching the video, pay attention to what's going on in the Shark Tank. I just wanted to, you know, well, I have the floor right now. I can just tell you guys, it is important for at least my, my viewers to see that with all that knowledge in the Shark Tank, that y'all are contributing to that knowledge in some type of way, okay? That is important to the success of what makes the Shark Tank the Shark Tank. That is what I, like, I drive that point always every chance I get is don't just watch the video, pay attention to what's going on in the Shark Tank. And I just want to make sure that we stay within the realm of that situation right there. Not everybody does it, <clears throat> but then the majority do. And I don't never want to lose that part of our show because I want people to know that there is a lot of knowledge in that Shark Tank that are addressing a lot of things that's not actually being addressed on the show. <clears throat> now, I usually try to bring a lot of those things that I see different is in there that I see might be a pedigree or a statement that somebody make or Mo ask a question and they're giving up those answers. That's that part that makes that interaction between what the show is about and why I try to get people to pay close attention to what's going in there. And then you got legendary fat Bill Reynolds in the house. Come on. Walking down Ram shows up. You know, schoolboy's been in here. Look at all the people. And then I know there's some guys out there who have been in here based on just some of the conversations I've seen, like Mayhem. Been around a long time. Prentice Carr been around a long time. Ben Brockton's been around a long time. I mean, these are people that I know been around, not just, I know, not them personally, but I know based on my research and what I do in the process of putting these shows together and see things that they've been involved in when it comes to these podcasts long before we was around, that they had major influence. They had knowledge of things that was going on back in 10, 10 years ago. So I just, I'm glad that you guys come over here and I want you to keep that same energy and share that same knowledge right here in the Shark Tank. And again, for what y'all did tonight, don't forget about them likes. You know, again, we've heard enough about them likes, and I'm just, and I'm not gonna beat you in the head over it. But again, I tell you what, because of YouTube, it really does make a difference. You know what I'm saying? It makes a difference, and this that difference. If it's gonna help the channel, then you do your best to help the channel because all it is is hitting that button, and it's free. And because they're hitting that like button, it makes YouTube algorithm do something that gets it out to more people. Now, I'm just thinking that based on, you know, 
people who just around and know these bulldogs this is just a this is a bulldog channel so i'm hoping all the bulldogs around the world finally gonna get the message and come out and hang out with us because there's so much else to talk about there's so many dogs that i want to talk about this over in mexico would love to get some of them people over here and let talk about the history and how they took these american dogs and bred them lion bred them and all kind of crazy thing and then all of a sudden see them dogs come back across the board i'm waiting to hear them type of conversations because you know what's happening they making it back you know what i'm saying i have my balkan friends i have my mexican people from mexico new mexico all people from all types and places that show up here and that's what we look forward to having when we do this show Y'all got to excuse me because I got to help this dude get this thing started up here. But that's the kind of stuff that I look and I, I, I really, really, really try to make sure that we always, just on my part, we stay on top of them like buttons and that Shark Tank be doing what it's doing because that's the branding part of what makes this show click. All right? All right. Mo, what's up? I, I ain't telling to get on and sit down because you told me, you know, what you said to me. You hurt my feelings. You know that, right? No, man. Yeah, you hurt my feelings, man. So I just said, no. I'm going to just square. <laughs> Y'all know you get down with me. Yeah, <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> yeah, man. You know what I mean? You hurt my damn feelings, man. So I said, damn, I ain't even going to mess with it. Exactly. But look, man. Me and all that stuff. Yeah, but I should know it. That I'm pretty sure they pretty shocked because I didn't get into it. But, man, that Shark Tank showed up and it definitely showed out. I don't know if I got it in my man Ghost 850 with the super sticker out there for that team piece. Appreciate the love, fam. I might have said already, but you know I got that short-term memory. And I just want to make sure everybody who did what y'all did and the show ain't even got started yet. I appreciate the love. Thanks again. I'm finna turn this bad boy over to Mo. I'm finna get my man Black Ice on the line and we fixing to do this. Yeah, the Holy Ghost here. <laughs> hey, the Holy Ghost is here. What's up, y'all? Hot mic Friday. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a hot mic tonight. Hey, I just sit there looking down here through that damn chat, boy. Y'all is buzzing. Shark tank on full. School of sharks running loose tonight. Yeah, y'all know why. I know why y'all hanging around. Y'all want to hear what the hell going on tonight. It's all y'all scratching your head. What in the hell? I don't know. I don't know either, y'all. But we can really find out. We can really find out. Okay, y'all. Y'all already know. I'm gonna go ahead and get the, you know, get it going before we get it started. Making sure everybody did what y'all supposed to do. You know, you got to get down before you sit down. And everybody go through their routine. Did you check your collars? Did you check your chains? Did you check your doors? Did you check your wires around your cage? And nothing loose for dogs can get out. Make sure you cleaned up that shit. Did you feed them? Did you even change that water? You know, these about two days, you better go ahead and change that water if you ain't getting them lapped up. You don't want that green pan in the house. You know My man, Dickie Foster, I see you, fam. Dickie! Mm. That's, I mean, that that's a good-ass poll, y'all. I ain't gonna... I'm... Nah. Now, and only we're not saying it's a good ass poll because the nose is winning. The nose is winning. No, I wouldn't breed the shorty with that damn mid mid shit. <laughs> That's what y'all saying in the poll. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm just saying the poll speaks for itself. Poll say, "Fuck shorty, I wouldn't breed to that shit." Running around here giving me dork dogs. But they good dogs. At least they they said it was some good dogs coming out of that shorty. You know, they just had that that, that you know congenital shit. Some of them, all of them didn't come out like that. And that's what we're gonna touch bases on tonight. You know, you know how that poll go. You know, already the poll showing that you know everybody was saying how good he was throwing. You know what I mean? He was throwing great dogs. So you know, I guess a lot of those. 30% people is those ones that was saying he had great dogs. Hey. Shout out to my man, Michael Schrader in the house. What's up, Mike, with the super chat? Appreciate the love, fam. He said, what up, chat, and the twins? You what's up, fam? Keep doing what you're doing, fam. Appreciate the love. 
So that was that was that was that's an interesting note right there in itself, guys. You know, we got a lot of no's off the top. But it kind of throws off that. Well, he was throwing good dogs. He was a registered mayor. You know, was, you know. So we're gonna look into the, the you know when it comes to that poll that poll gives us temperature checks because I'm a whole lot of knows either you don't know shorty hmm, or you know shorty and you wouldn't want no midget you know part you know what they call them little dogs now you know what I'm talking about the little bulldogs with little short legs they call them bullies yeah bullies I, I, you know the way i look at these bullies i'd be wondering if them bullies ain't part short shorty or or them bullies ain't that you know congenital these you know thing that you know they didn't bred into the point that they didn't turn to pit into a, a midget and gain the name bully but i'd be down that's what them bullies look like they look like little midget dogs you know, little midget pits, pretty muscular like any other, you know, human. You see how the little midgets see us when they human? I ain't trying to get on the midgets, but, uh, you know, they be little cocky little dudes, you know what I'm saying? So I be looking at them bullies like, well, damn, they got midget, you know, bulldogs. You know, that that is that what bullies are? Are bullies a breed of dogs that has a genital disease? You know, because that's just what they look like, and they have those same problems that you know dogs that have that you know that that disease, what they call it, you know, it's congenital disease. You know, it breaks their bodies down in the long run. And that's probably why bullies don't live that long. Yeah, so let's try to get this thing started up. I'm kind of interested on how my boy Ice gonna do this show tonight because you know when he get on, you know it's gonna be really interesting then. You know what I'm saying? Because he makes it interesting. You now that's what's gonna make it, the show good to me because it's gonna be very interesting coming from him. Hmm. Yeah, my computer stopped early, like, okay, you ain't been on in a while or something. All right, fellas. Thank y'all for coming out on this hot mic Friday. <clears throat> As you know, Mike usually goes through everything, you know, did we make sure we get our disclaimer up? You know, if anybody out there, my boy Frederick, if you out there, you know, get the chance to throw that disclaimer up, man, so we can make sure that... <clears throat> They they know we putting that disclaimer out there when we run around. He getting ready to say the things that we are gonna talk about. It's all for the historical purposes of entertainment. We're not promoting nor are we encouraging anything that has to do with anything we're doing it trying to do illegal because we ain't trying to do nothing illegal. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start off this show. As soon as I get my computer to acting right, he's doing a whole lot of, like he ain't been on in a while. But we're going to pull up Shorty, and I guess we're going to start with the game. <laughs> Talking about since the, most of the show, we're going to start off with is about Shorty. Because, you know, he, like I said, he was a good dog. I have several questions in, in, in myself. You know, as far as, you know, come from a line of, uh, of, of black dogs, okay? Let's just see how this thing works, because if you come from a line of black dogs, <laughs> especially Eli dogs, I always known them to be black. Outside of him being a midget, you know, outside of him being a midget, we, I still... Ask the question, uh, well, he was like a red dog, too. Mm hmm. 
to move the rock and slow me down. Go ahead, man. I got another super chat for my man, the legendary Fat Bill Reynolds. Appreciate the love, Fat Bill. Appreciate the love, Fat Bill. That's your second time. But just what Fat Bill says, those shorty cowboy dogs were like the nigger renal dogs, Eli breeders. Look at those lines as the bottom of the barrel. Hmm. 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 That's coming from the legendary Fat Bill. <laughs> Fat Bill said the bottom of the barrel. At the bottom of the barrel. Well, he know. I just, it, it just, it's just funny to me that, uh, Even when he said the Nigarino dogs, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people tried to make it work, that's for sure. A lot of people tried to make it work. And Shorty Cowboy was an all whim now. Let's just keep that spoke. Shorty was an all whim. And I'm pretty sure Bill gonna say, well, damn twin. If I had three pages of pedigrees of breeding, you know, I would expect at least to wiggle out at least three or four with three pages. Three pages and just getting three or four out of it doesn't make it a great breeding. I think that's where Fat Bill is on that. You know, he, he, he plays in percentages too. You know, he don't mind getting one out of litter. I can guarantee you one damn thing. You tell Fat Bill that he got 30 dogs on his yard, and out of them 30 dogs, he got one good dog. Fat Bill gonna have one good dog in the morning. And I can guarantee you that. It didn't take him too long to switch up and swap up and do anything that was interfering with him doing what he did best back in, his, in them days because the man stayed pretty active, you know? And he was a hunter. Breed, slash breeder. Maybe not meaning to be. Maybe not trying to be. But in the long run, we see his name in a lot of pedigrees of a lot of great dogs. We always got to take account of that. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna take this out before I uh, open it up to y'all to make sure that I can go in the right area and we can find these. Uh, yeah, this would be the one. Okay. Did the yeah, chat room? All right, y'all. There you go. I'm on. I'm gonna go jump right on in here on Shorty since we're talking about Shorty today. And get y'all a little forefront. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it? I need to do it now or no. okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I got shorty up here. We're looking at his pedigree now. Now, he heavy he, he heavy midnight cowboy. Look, he 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 grand champion hands happy jack like a mug. That's cowboy and candy right there. We do a breakdown just to show you, because as you can see, up and down, a whole lot of Happy Jack, right? We didn't go Happy Jack, so let's, let's just look. Now, that's Happy Jack. He triple bread. I mean, look, this dog is, look, look what color he is now. Remember this.
Remember, we just clicked on Happy Jack because he was he was heavy Happy Jack. Look how he's bred. Look how he bred. Hands candy. He ain't black. Look like she a red bitch. So he took a black dog and bred to a red bitch. Dabo. Well, he was a red dog too. What's going on? What's going on? What's up, baby? And I'm just here taking it easy. So and he was off of Bully Son. One thing we can we can say about Bully Son, because Bully Son was also Honey Bunch's dad, and you know Honey Bunch wasn't black, so we already know we we can't be jumping around hollering, you know, you know that uh, Shorty should have been a black dog because he. Should, He's got enough red dogs in him up close, and we're still talking about Happy Jack. And, and, you know what I'm saying? And and he this, this, and Shorty is definitely heavy. Happy Jack. Well, twin. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Hey, y'all. Let me get me. Let me uh, bring you in. Let me introduce you. Hey, y'all. I got the legendary Black Eyes on the line today. This is gonna basically be his show. I'm just gonna be a narrator, pun, keep up with the pedigrees and the information he's putting <laughs> down here so we can get some some visual aid on what's going on. That's why I got Shorty up here because, you know, a lot of questions is, you know, that I have, I'm gonna get the answers to, I'm pretty sure. So if y'all have any questions or answers and, and before y'all start bladdering down on the down on the chat in the chat room. You know, we still got that delay, so be a little patient. If you want to be said or heard or got something to say, that's what that super chat is for. All right, because right now, we're going to turn this thing over to Black Ice, y'all. Thank you for coming, big bro. How you doing today, man? Man, I just came from eating. I feel real good. I'm just waiting for this. That's all. I'm just relaxing, bro. That's it. Well, you know, I'm going to catch a loose like Mayweather up in here, baby. The room is full. Everybody see that black ice? You know, you know, everybody run to the table. Now, we, we did do a poll. I, I don't know if you know about the poll, but we were talking about Shorty and his condition, you know. And oh, yeah, def definitely, definitely. Uh, Shorty, his pedigree is wrong. That's number one. You know, a lot of people say for many years <laughs> that was his pedigree. That's the wrong pedigree, bro. Okay, y'all. no way in the world. He's 75% uh, boomerang and a quarter shabo. Okay, he came from down in uh, Morgan, gave him to uh, Frank Cochran. And that's how he got the dog, and he started breeding the dog. But if you go back to the same thing as Honey Bunch, Honey Bunch only threw black dogs when she was retro rascal. What did uh, Cochran Shorty Boy, Cochran Shorty Cowboy do when he was retro black bitch? Okay. Once you start inbreeding that dog, all them dogs come white. Some dogs come white with patches. Some dogs don't come black. So you got a lot of dogs that's going around. People saying, oh, they shorty dogs and they jet black. But you got shorty four times in the pedigree, five times in the pedigree. That's impossible. There's no way in the world that could, you know, that could be them dogs. You know, them dogs have a, it's like a, when, when, you, when you walk, when you're going to walk in your dog, you see them little bullies. That's shorty cowboy right there. Uh, right. You know what I'm saying? Them, them little goddamn bullies. That's what it is, you know. If you look at this, you know what I'm saying? This is what I want you to do. Go to uh go to Cockney Shorty Cowboy Pedigree. And, and yeah, I'm on it now. Picture. Yeah, we got it okay. now. Yeah, it, okay. it, I got it. It's a, it's not the greatest picture, but you can it's see okay. it. It's, it's, yeah. it's okay. Pull it, up this picture. And yeah, this we what can I see it. Uh-huh. Go go to go to he I think he got like three other Pedigrees up there. That's right. He do. Three yeah, and they got a clearer pictures. picture. Yes, they do. They got a better picture. Yeah, let me go back and, and do and, that. Okay, and go to his pictures. Yeah, he do got a better picture. Yeah, I was on that earlier. Hold on. So you go to, I think it's one in red. It got one in red. I think it got another one in black and blue. I think they right next to each other. Right. Yeah, they are. Okay, just 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 look at all the pictures of that dog, Cochran Shorty Cowboy. Yeah, here's a good one right here. 
There you go. I got a real good one. Big picture of him. This is Shorty Cowboy right there. Now, that's, a, that's the picture. That's a real okay. good picture of him. The one in red. Have, yes. Anybody have any questions? I'm willing to answer them. Just just go ahead and ask me. You know, Twin, you tell me what it is because I'm not in front of a computer. So I won't even know what they, they text in or whatever, you know. Okay. Um, you look at look at all the pictures of the dog. Look, just look at the dog and tell me what do you see that stands out on the dog. Them, I know for one, those short stubby ass feet and that big okay. ass square chest looking like a bully. It looked like okay. a bully. So basically he's low to the ground, am I correct? Yes. Okay. What else that stands out with the dog? There's two other things stand out with the dog. Well, I would have to say his color. Based on how, uh, he, his, how he's bred. Okay, um, you know, I'm going to tell you what's standing. Look at his ears. That stands out with that dog. And another thing stands out with the dog. Look at all the pictures. What stands out the most with Cocky and Shorty Cowboy himself is his feet. Look at his feet. The he got feet. big feet. Just look at the dog. He got like a web feet. Just, yeah. Just look at him. Big flat okay. feet, yeah. Okay. So basically, a dog like that, you can breed him to a Jeep dog. You can breed him to whatever you want to breed him to. It's going, it's, it's, it might get longer legs. He might be taller. But if you start inbreeding them dogs, you coming right back to them dogs. You know, I've seen about four people call me and say, yo, is this a shorty dog? I told them no. They was like, how, how, how you going to tell me this? Listen to me. When you breed, a, the dogs have different characteristics. Yeah, you could just look at a dog and say, it's just like a rascal dog. You look at a rascal, yeah, that's a rascal dog. What do you got? The white feet, the, 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 the end of his tail white, the stripe down. Look at fat male dogs. Same thing. You look at them dogs, all them dogs look alike. Mm -hmm. You know, same conformation, same tail, same, 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 same built. If you look at Cockney Shorty Cowboy, look at look at his look at his shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Look at his knees, look at his ankle. It come, it, it come. Put it this way, when I talk, people be like, oh man, what the hell is he talking about? Yo, it's 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 it's, it's just something that I look at dogs different. You know what I'm saying? So you look at his conformation, it's like a it's like a it's like a uh it's like a a, a, a a horse hoof. Just look at the dog. Just look at a horse hoof and look at look at his front end. And he he within his kids he threw a lot of white paws. That's something he threw a lot within his kids. A lot of white paws. And the reason why I could talk about this dog because I had them dogs. Oh my God, a long time, bro. So I know I know about them dogs. You know what I'm saying? You breed Cockney Shorty Cowboy to his daughter. You breed him. You 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 you, you take a puppy off of that and you breed it to a half brother. Yo, them dogs should come out looking just like him. That's it. They should come out looking just like him. They should have the same color mark, trademark, everything. Even his mouthpiece, his nose, his coloration, everything, because he's a dominant dog. He threw it in his kids. If you look at all his offsprings, what color is his offsprings? A lot of them are white. A lot of them are patches. Even the bunk skin ones. Just look at them. Most of them got white feet. Some do, some don't. But they got his shape. His ears is like, his ears is brown, but the inner side of his ears is all black. So you'll know them dogs, they got low tails. You know what I'm saying? They got big stipe. They look like a goddamn bully, basically. Yeah. You know? Uh, and then for years you try to figure out, but wait a minute, he was bred to that bullshit stuff. That's what bring Iceman, I mean Snowman, and uh, Lily White. You look at them dogs. Oh man, he uh, the old Ed Crenshaw dog. You know, most of Ed Crenshaw dogs, they was white dogs. They was white with patches. Them dogs was in black. You know what I'm saying? So his pedigree, whatever, whatever pedigree Morgan gave Frank Cochran with them dogs, I heard he, he came from a guy named White. Some, some brothers down in Florida, last name is White. I heard that's where the dog came from. You know, they was getting out of dogs and just gave Morgan the dog, and Morgan gave Cochran the dog, and they started breeding the dogs. So most of his dogs, they come white. They don't come black. And once you start inbreeding that dog, they do not come black. 
they come white. They come patches. You know what I'm saying? Some people have them dogs down to the third generation, just start inbreeding. And they gonna come white. Damn dog had some hella five teeth in his mouth, didn't he? <laughs> I'll tell you this right now. Them dogs, them dogs are different dogs. You know, them them dogs was back in the days, them dogs was they was just different dogs. But truthfully and honestly, they was good dogs. I, I I earlier, before I got on the phone, I see somebody put that uh uh he was a cur or uh, yo, Rascal was a cur. Snooty was a cur. <laughs> you want me to keep going? <laughs> I know them dogs was curs. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? It's it, it, it's like every dog got a purpose. Some could cross good with others and some don't. It's just like, okay, it's just like uh, Booty Sun. What did Booty Sun really cross good with? At Crenshaw Dogs. That that was across for many years. You know, Fat Bill on the line, Fat Bill will tell you. You know what I'm saying? You take the Booty Sun Dogs and you, you cross it to Ed Crenshaw Dogs and that's what bring all the good dogs. But see, that was a secret back then. A lot of people didn't tell you they secret. You know what I'm saying? They're lie. So it's like this. How in the world, you look at that dog pedigree. He heavy shape or heavy grand check. Yo, how in the world you don't throw black dogs like that? Yo, you go to you go to Floyd Boudreaux yard, you ain't gonna see no white dog. Ain't no way in the world you gonna see no white dog on Floyd Boudreaux yard. Him and all them dogs is black dogs. So why 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 that dog throwing all white dogs? And somebody said, oh man, it's the it's the bush. You no, know? Iceman bottom is a different bottom. So what is you talking about? Come on, them dogs, they different. You know, that's why people stick on pedigrees and people be like, oh man, I'm telling you this dog, you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to offend anybody, but I'm just here to tell the truth. It, it, them dogs don't lie. They feet, they got wet feet. They got strong, they, they front end is low. You know what I'm saying? So everybody that in breeding them dogs. If them dogs don't look like that, that's not them dogs. I don't care where you get them from, who told you that, that that's them dogs, that's a lie. And and, and, and the shape of their head, they all look alike. You can see even their eyes, they look alike. Even their teeth, they look alike. Hey, bro. Them dogs right there. Hey, bro. I don't mean to interrupt you, but, but I get a super chat. I might be stepping in, so excuse me, okay? I got a super chat from my man. Keep on rolling, Kennels. He went with the two piece. Appreciate the love. Keep on rolling. He just want to show. He just wanted to say, uh, muscles, thumbs up, and love. Okay. Appreciate the love. I don't man. Say that again. He said he just wanted to just tell you, thumbs up, muscles, and roses. Yeah, that's the good. That's that's that. Uh, what we call our parade. Yeah, that's showing love. Showing love, bro. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you. Tell him I say thank you. Let me tell you something. You take one of them them damn bullies, and and and, and you put Godfish or the cowboy color on that bitch. They them bitches look alike. I swear to God. I be like, yeah, where you get that dog from? Oh man, this is a blue dog. I say, you sure? Yeah, cause they all look alike. But no, you know? but Shorty had he, he was he was a midget. That's what he had. He was a. It was. It was a genetic. That's a genetic disease that he has. It's like a, like a midget. It's it's the midget. You know the midget thing. You know. He, but then uh, they had they had another dog seen that was his brother. And them dogs don't look alike. Them dogs don't even shape alike. You know what I'm saying? Them, bro, sometimes you know you 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 look at a pedigree on a dog and you you say to yourself, oh man. I'm telling you, I'm getting this. And then you, you breed that dog back to the same thing. You get, you get something way different. It's like talking to Shorty Cowboy. He never threw a brindle dog. I never seen or heard of a brindle dog come off that dog. Never did. When you start inbreeding them, you get, you get brown and white. You get jet white with a little patches in them. That's how them dogs come. I seen a lot of people these days with them dogs come jet black. Now, not saying that a shorty cowboy dog can't come black. I think got something else in it. It's maybe an outcross. You see what I'm saying? But that whole litter ain't gonna come black. Not down from them dogs. Right. They been shorted to uh to that baby root and had a white dog and baby root was a red boy dog, Jeep red boy, top and bottom. 
Red the cowboy and that dog, uh, that champion uh, Ice Ice Man was a white dog. So that's two white dogs, y'all. We didn't pull it up here. Two champion white dogs. Two different breeds. Oh, we got a question come through. I got a super chat from my man, Mr. Hemi James, with the five piece. Appreciate the love, Mr. Hemi James. His question was Has Black Ice bred a line of his own? If so, we see his pedigrees. Well, I know one damn thing for sure. I know he had some shorty cowboy. He has some shorty cowboy, didn't you? You talking to me? Yeah. I've been having that line of dogs for the last 20 something years. But it's not, now, now, let, me, let, me, let me clear this up to you, okay? Once you take a, a son, of Cochran Shorty Cowboy or a daughter of Cochran Shorty Cowboy and you cross it out. Now it was only 50-50. Okay? So I don't have no inbred Cochran Shorty Cowboy. I have line bred Cochran Shorty Cowboy. It's like I have a female called Gaza. Gaza was inbred. I mean, I'm not saying inbred. Gaza was Cochran Shorty Cowboy. She was, she was half Cochran Shorty Cowboy and have something else. You see what I'm saying? So, in the pedigrees of some of my dogs right now, it's like four times Gaza, three times Gaza, five times Gaza. Them dogs come jet white. What color was that little female you had named China? China was a buckskin female with a with a with a with a with a black mask. It was a buckskin female with a black mask. So she was buckskin. Matter of fact, that's that's the, basically the one. She had the little mate brother was a champion. Well, I, no, no, you know something. Not saying buckskin. She was, she was, she was his car. She was basically his car. And they had him down yeah. as white. Yeah, he was, he was, she was his car. You know. Yeah. Uh, okay, because she's a she. It, it was. It, ain't she the little mate to Iceman? No. Hold on. Uh, my, my 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 China bitch had had. She had three sisters. All was cow. It, it all, all was uh, China, it was China one, two, and three. Okay. Uh, and some of them nickname was Cowgirl and different things. It was three of them. Uh, and they had a brother named uh, the Clinton Shorty Jr. And then I think he got sold, and it was Hardway Shorty Jr. I had a son off of him, bred to a Crocomo female, a Crocomo. Mountain Man Homer, female that Planet of the Apes had owned, and Planet of the Apes did the breeding. And that's the two sets of dogs I had. I had uh, Midnight and I had China. It was off. The, China was the original daughter of Cocky Shorty Cowboy, and Midnight was off of her brother. Well, Crocomo Mountain Man Homer, bitch. If you look up, is uh, Black Ice Midnight. That's the male that I had down from that. So basically, it was just it was just basically like a quarter of Cockney Shorty Cowboy. Basically, the bottom side was Scratch Line Kennels Champion Peanut. Right. You know. And uh, like I said, even when I started to inbreed them dogs, them dogs came lower to the ground. Big club feet, web feet. And they start coming white. Like I said, I have a question for you. Yes, sir. Okay. My first question, I got a super chat, but before I get you the super chat, um, was Shorty Cowboy a champion? I'll be honest with you, I never heard that. I never heard that. I really don't know. I never heard that. Okay, now, now I'm going to get to the super chat. I got a super chat from my man, Mason. Appreciate the love, Mr. Mason, for the five piece. He said, what would you say is Shorty Cowboy's best match was and why? I didn't know he was matched. Now, maybe you could elaborate on that question for me. I, I never heard I never heard nothing about that. I just heard he was wrong. That's basically it. I never heard that he was matched or nothing like that. Yo, now, think about it. Look at his legs. Where the hell he going to go? 
Look, look, just look at him. Look at his front end. Look how low to the ground that is. Where he gonna go? Mm -hmm. You know, it, I, I never heard nothing about that. Being honest with you, you know, right. I just heard that he he was a dog that when you cross him, it's a different dog that he 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 threw a better structure, better looking dogs, big teeth, big stifles. You know what I'm saying? Just Good-looking dogs, you know. Right, like bullies, <laughs> basically, but with legs. You know, but that pedigree they got on him, mm -hmm. the wrong ass pedigree. It's wrong. Not a right pedigree. It's a fake pedigree. The pedigree that somebody gave. Well, you want a pedigree? You want a pedigree? You want to put a pedigree on the dog? I'll put a pedigree on the dog. You know what I'm saying? Everybody say, "Oh man, I got, I got, I got a Jeep dog." I got this dog, I got a Snooty dog, I got a Spike dog, I got a Mayday dog. Did you see them dogs for yourself? Did you see pictures of the breeding of them dogs? If you ain't see the picture of the breed, how you you know that man to take his word? Because a man tell you something, you really, you you really feel that that's the way? It don't work like that, man. You gotta really see back 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 in my time, it was real dog fanatics. It had real dog fanatics. They could just walk them and say, hell no, that dog ain't right. Just like Buck. You know what I'm saying? Everybody say Buck had three pedigrees. Buck ain't had three pedigrees. If you look at uh, a Hollingworth lady in red, that's Buck Little May's sister. You know what I'm saying? The other day I made a uh I made an error when I said uh uh Zebo was off of Art, no, Z was off of Eli. You know what I'm saying? Uh you know, you know what I'm saying? My memory going back 30, 35, 40 years. So that's a long time, you know. So I can make I can make an error. You know, but uh, what I'm speaking right now ain't no error in that. You cannot have a cocky shorty cowboy dog that's inbred and he got long legs. There's no way in the world. I don't care what nobody say. If you don't have wet feet, that's a wrong dog. And if you breed them dogs and you and you look at that pedigree, you see them dogs four or five times that pedigree and that dog black, a fucking lie. That's the bottom line. And, and definitely, if you inbreeding and they and they and, and you ain't getting that midget disease, that's right. You know, what that's I'm a lie. Because all of them gonna have it because you know it's genetically part of their genetic makeup. Now, some that's of them right. they don't all they, they they don't all have it, but they when they have puppies, they it will show up because it's part of the genetic makeup. And that was one of the things that I was hearing as well. You know, there was numbers out there. But they had three pages of dogs, you know, like we just looked at two champions, Iceman and Snowman, and they were white dogs, but they still had them tiny legs, though. So they were still able to work. Evidently, not maybe they wasn't as bad as uh, cowboys, but that one white bitch, she was looking, she had, she was a little midget, too. Hey, 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 hey somebody, somebody just, uh, Ask uh, something about uh, what was the best breed I ever done. I'll be honest with you. Uh, it got a female name, uh, Black Ice Gossip. To Amos. That was one of the best breedings. Uh, China to Destroyer. That was one of the best breeds. They, they, they were all good dogs. They, listen to me. They was all good dogs. You know what I'm saying? But like I tell people, everything in life have its time. And all things shall and will come to pass, man. You know, mm -hmm. and 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 only a smart man will understand that. You know, uh, but if you look, if you look at uh, Black Eyes Gaza, uh, spell that Gaza for me. I see if I'm gonna pull it up right quick. Why you doing it? Why we on here? That's why you G doing that? That's before y'all get started, double M Desbo. Hey, double Desbo. The question he was asking, it was okay, fam. Other question, as far as Mr. Henry James. I have a question for you, Black Ice. Yeah, go ahead. Now, you know, you had a, a tendency, I mean, you was known for traveling and getting some of the best dogs in the country. In the country. That's what I've known you for. Remember, you you came to our yard, so I know you got around. 
Yeah, let me tell you, I came to your yard. Oh my God, that's like 25 years ago. Yeah. That's like, a long time ago. Yeah. Now, in them years and all that you, that you were able to accomplish and, and put together, would you call yourself trying to create a bloodline for yourself or you was just basically going and breeding the best of the best that you could accomplish? Well, I'll be honest with you, back in them days, it was like, truthfully, honestly, it was like, yo, you want the best, man. If you got to travel around the world for the best, you're going to travel around the world man, for the best. I, know. I got That's Gaza. I got Gaza and Tyrone. So I'm going to, you want me to click on Gaza because she was off the story on Black Eyes China. Okay. I'm, I got the pedigree up here on here. So, okay, so, so I just so want, you, I just want to you show seen, you. seen Gaza? You seen Gaza? Yeah, we got we got see, this one is little Gaza, double bred Gaza. All right, y'all didn't hear me? Okay, hear me? they have Gaza right there with a little boy. They got a little boy in one of them pictures. Right, hear me? I want y'all. I know. I see where y'all going, so I'm gonna make sure I oblige y'all. So, all right. So when I come back and and, and get y'all the same opportunity and ask y'all the same questions, because I'm going to do that when I see these kind of things happening. I want you guys to give me the same respect and give me answers. Okay. It's like y'all asking and looking for these answers. I, I, I got some questions I want to ask y'all sometimes. Because y'all know how we feel. If you, mm -hmm. if you ask the question, you better make sure you're in a position to be having the right, right to ask that question. question. Right, because we're going to ask you, what did you have? What was you doing? Because I like to know. Anybody that like to ask that question around me, I'd like to know what you was doing to make sure you relevant to get an answer. Mm -hmm. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. You know how I roll, and y'all have always seen me act like that and respond to that. So be ready. I'm going to ask. But we're going to address your question. We're addressing your question right now. We got some more to show you. Believe me, when I get done, y'all do not want me to go into this man's background. Because I know, no, I, think, no, I know, no, no, I mean, twin, 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 twin. I mean, twin, they can ask me anything they want to ask that's, me. Bro. I know, I may got no problem with that, but I'm ready to put it up there. But we on something else. We on Shorty Cowboy right now. When we, we want to go diving into Black Eyes and what Black Eyes did and what he bred and what he did out there, then we can get into that. But right now, we into Black Eyes and his this thing he's doing with Shorty Cowboy. So once we get past that, you know, I'll open up the room and they can ask you anything they want, but I'm still stuck on Shorty Cowboy. And then that question did come up and I'm looking at a pedigree. That's a pretty well damn good looking pedigree. And it's got Shorty Cowboy in it. This is one of the things I'm talking about. One thing for damn sure, he was breeding to some good damn dogs. He got a nice ass pedigree. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep it moving. I got, I got, I got this, that Tyrone dog bred to Gaza three. Yes. And that was, that was a whole lot of shorty down in there. I mean, a lot. I mean, it's like it was bottom side was heavy inbred. Then you got the, the, this, um, Amos being bred to Gaza, you know, the way Tyrone is bred. Then you got, Twin. yeah. Twin. They got a female named Gaza. Go to Gaza pedigree. If you have a little boy in that pedigree, yeah, look that's it. I'm looking at it, and that looked just oh. like that looked like Shorty Cowboy right there. That's a bitch. Okay, see that little boy in that picture? That's my son. Yo, that's a big dude right now. He's in he's in college right now. You know how long ago that picture was taken, bro? <laughs> that's a long time ago. Cause he used to be me and my son all the time. He was no more than what four years old in that picture. You know what I'm saying? He a big man right now. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it just you know say just 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 thinking of that picture right there. See, look, just look at her front end. Look at her confirmation. Just just look at the dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and and she's just what a quarter, shorty, cowboy. But if you look at it, if you go back and uh, destroy your pedigree, right? Mm -hmm. And, and you really look at Destroyer Pedigree, his mother, she was black. Okay? Destroyer mother was black. A lot of people argue with me, and oh, I'm telling you, his mother, I, I seen the fucking dog. I, I mean, coming over Onyx. Dog. I could afford the dog. Right. Onyx and, and, and uh, Amtrak, I remember them. I, I was Your seeing, mother was yeah, black. Right. I saw Onyx when we was in Puerto Rico. We was actually at so, Miranda so, House. So you, 
So you turn around and, and you pull up Destroyer Pedigree. You look you look at his mom. It's a buckskin doll. Oh, man, you telling me crazy? I'm telling you it's a buck. I say, bro, open the picture. It's a fucking male with a dick. You know what I'm saying? That's Listen to me. Back in the days, a lot of people did a lot of crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of brothers never got no credit for a lot of things that they did. You know what I'm saying? It was it was it was it was just always some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But if you go back in Onyx pedigree and you go back at least the fourth generation, you will see boomerang and them dogs a lot of times. You see what I'm saying? So that breeding destroyer to China, destroyer to Lily White, that's what listen to me. You could take a dog and you could breed a dog, dog just like Tab. You breed Tab to 50 bitches, but then you breed them to one bitches named Ruby. She threw you the best dogs, and them dogs continue throwing dogs straight down generation after generation. You know what I'm saying? Every dog got a dick. Every dog will produce a puppy. Is that puppy gonna, gonna be like them? Yes or no? You don't know until you make the breed. You know what I'm saying? My favorite dog in the whole world is Grand Champion Yellow. Hands down. You could breed him to a poodle. I don't give a shit what you breed him to. You're gonna get good dogs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But ain't too much people with them dogs around. You know what I'm saying? Them dogs have a different look. You know what I'm saying? When you look at, when you even made their dog, they got a different look. You look around their eyes, they got black around their eyes. But a lot of people say, oh man, that's, no, it's not. Where you get the dog from? You know what I'm saying? But I'm, that's, that whole, right there, is a whole nother topic. I'm not going to jump on that. I'm going to just stick with Shorty Cowboy, and we're going to leave it just like that. So basically, Shorty Cowboy, even if you breed them dogs after years, after years, they're supposed to show you the same dog. The same dog. You know what I'm saying? The same dog. I got another super chat from my man, keep it, keep it on rolling kennels. He says, salute to the legendary Black Ice. Muscles, thumbs up, thumbs up, roses, roses. <laughs> hey, hey, and why are we doing that? Hey, thank you there, thank you. What's the name again? Uh, keep it rolling kennels. Dude. Keep it rolling kennels said, thumbs up, man, muscles and roses. He said, much love, bro. He said, salute to the legendary Black Ice. I got another super chat from my man Mason with the serious tw Twinkie. He said, I love y'all. Is it brother? Man, no cap. Hey, boy. Thumbs up. Um, you hear that, man? You hear that? Hey. Oh, man. Hey, I was, I, I, wanted, I, I was showing him that picture. And the mother is Sky Country? Where that bitch at? Uzi, I'm looking at Uzi right now, y'all. Y'all see that's a male, right? Y'all see in that picture, y'all see that right there? Y'all see me pointing at that dick? That is a male. That is not a female. That's what he was talking about. Okay? So we that is definitely a fact that that picture is not right because that is definitely a picture of a male. Which picture are you talking about? Uzi. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a picture of a male. I want so much money off that picture because a lot of people just, they, they just they just believe everything they see, bro. Everything they hear, they just believe it. Yo, it's common sense. I told 100 people, destroy your mother was black. She was, a, that bitch was no more than, what, 30 pounds? She was a little black bitch. Oh, man, I'm telling you, better $1,000. I'm telling you, the dog is buckskin. I said, bro, stop it. Stop listening to everything you, 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 you. Stop it, bro. I seen, I could have bought the bitch. They turn around, open the picture after they bet me the money. Open the picture. There goes the dick. Oh, man, I didn't know that. I said, yo, stop listening to everything somebody tell you, but if you wasn't there, just listen, bro. Stop being a fool. Somebody tell you, oh, man, I'm telling you, Mayday was this, Mayday was... Yo, how you know? Was you there? Was, was that in your era? Was that in your time? It was not. So you sit your ass down and listen to somebody that was there that could tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's like... It's like people believe people, you know, the lies sound so good that people believe the lies and they really don't want to hear the truth. You know? Well, that's a, that's a fact right there. You know, that's a fact right there. That is a male that I can see it even with a little, you know. Look at his dick. You can see it big as shit. It's a male. That is a male. Let me tell you something. I got pictures of all, all them dogs. All of them dogs. I got pictures of all of them dogs. And then here's another thing right here. Uh, Amtrax, now Amtrax coming off of Onyx. Now, Grand Champion Onyx was a black dog, y'all. 
I know that for a fact because I've seen. I seen I seen Amtrak with my aunt. She was black too. And she was black. It says right here, Amtrak is a black dog. Now we got two black dogs being bred, and y'all gonna try to tell me with these two black dogs that they produce this white male and call it a female. Okay. That that's that already we found something wrong here. We got two black dogs. And then we got this dog and it's a male. So we, we got to understand that this dog could not have been, a, 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 first of all, anything other than black. If the daddy's black, and believe me, I know he's black because I've seen him personally on my own eyes. I was actually on the man's yard and seen Grand Champion Islands. Had a picture with him. He's a black dog. And we see the bottom side of it, Amtrak, Amtrak, Champion Amtrak was a black dog, color, 32, 34 pound dog. These are little dogs. And uh, Alex was a little dog. He wasn't no big ass dog. All right. So. That's been on the table, we, so we got proof about that. We don't want to have to argue about that one no more. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing, still seeing a whole lot of black. And then when we're still talking about, why are we talking about this stuff right here? Because we got destroyer being bred to China off of Shorty. You know what I'm saying? And you see what color this dog is? Looking like Shorty Cowboy. Looking just like Shorty Cowboy. Let the picture speak for itself. This is Black Ice's shit right here. So he's telling you, Destroyer came off a black cross, which he did. And he was a black brindle, black brindle big boy, which he was. Bred into that cowboy stuff and came up with the shorty cowboy looking dog. So, you know, one thing for damn sure, if you're paying attention, if you are paying attention, we have found things wrong and we have found things right. But it definitely brings a lot of question as far as shorty to me that with all this black being thrown around and, and shorty being the color that he was with all that black in his background, like he said, shorty cowboy came from some brothers down there in Florida named white. And what he's saying on top of that was he did not come from a black background, not throwing a bunch of white dogs and barely throwing any black dogs. That's right. All right. And then we also went into a picture. We found what we, What else did we find? We found a damn buckskin dog coming off of two black dogs and, and just so happened to have a dick that they got listed as a female. That's right. That's the bullshit. So we see bullshit out here. He's, he's showing you the bullshit. So before we start asking a, a bunch of other questions, let's get down to the questions and uh, of the answers that we can answer with receipts. We're looking at receipts, y'all. So if, if Shorty Cowboy wasn't off the black stuff, and it's sure as hell with all this black in the pedigree, he's still throwing dogs, even after throwing, bringing it to Destroyer, Shorty was still able to produce himself right there in this puppy right here we're looking at. The genetics, y'all. We talking about the genetics. Look at his teeth. That's right. Look at them fat ass feet. Look at them big if ass toes. Dogs don't look like that. I really don't know what to say to you, man. I really don't know. It makes you I'm question Shorty Cowboy's true breeding, like he said. And then on top of that, it was genetic of the black. The dog barely threw black dogs. Even when bred back to some black shit, he wasn't throwing shit like that. He was throwing more of himself because maybe he wasn't coming from a black line. You know that is that is a question we can 
We can call, talk about Toby Ryan when he was sitting up there with a bunch of red dogs in his pedigree, and all of a sudden, he comes up being a black, all black dog. And what happened? We we we, we say something about it, and the dog disappeared. Well, see, we do this to Shorty, and all we have is a big question mark. But the question mark that we see, we can find. We're looking at answers to, hey, the possibility that Shorty wasn't coming from the Morgans like they say he was, and nor is he bred like they say he was. By looking at the breeders and the dogs coming off of him, I would have to ask that question my damn self because, again, I'm looking at the genetics. I'm seeing a whole sure. lot of black here, yet I don't see the black in these dogs. Even after being China being bred to destroy you, y'all, that's more black on top of that. Yet these dogs still come out looking like Shorty, and that's what the main thing we was talking about when it comes to Shorty and why his production record was good, because he could throw himself and throw whatever he was coming from because he was still throwing white dogs. With all that black in him, he was throwing white dogs. We sat there and showed you two dogs, champions, coming off a shorty that was white. So, so, so before we start hollering, he was a Morgan dog. Maybe he was he was a Maurice Carver dog. Or, or, or you know, one of them Jor dogs. That, you know, how Maurice go to that drawer, pull out some shit, and, 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 and throw it up there. But that's what shorty is looking like right now, because... It would be hard for you to get me to believe Shorty came off of the Morgan stuff. Not being able to throw no black dogs, even when being bled back into some heavy black shit, he's still throwing himself or something related to him, like throwing white, all white dogs. We did look, we did look at that. Let me go back and pull those two champions up again. So we can make sure we saw that. I want everybody to make sure you saw what I saw. Hold on, let me get back here. Oh, snowman. Why the hell? Any questions? Uh, not at this time. I think um, you know how the room get when we get stuck on these kind of things. They scratching their heads about this well, one. Uh, they said that y'all getting down deep into the situation and they feel like y'all can get even deeper than that because y'all just scratching the surface. <laughs> we, well, we scratching the surface. One, we know Shorty was a, a midget. You know, I don't know what y'all call him. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying he was a midget. He, you know, he was a midget. What we consider a midget, he was a midget. And that means genetically he carried that midget gene. So what he was saying, it was more prominent than most of the dogs that he was having. And for him coming from a black background and not throwing a lot of black pups. I got a statement from my man, a super chat from my man, Mr. Mason. He said, uh, thanks for the five piece there, Mr. Mason. Appreciate it, man. You're doing the right thing. Keep throwing up them super chats for these questions. We're going to see if we can get some answers. He said, Wild Mongoose says, we can dig deeper. Let's dig. I'm curious now. Okay, we can dig. We can dig. We can dig all the way to the point that we know Shorty didn't come off this Morgan stuff. And all. Do y'all want to see? We know the buckskin shit was in there. The, the buckskin stuff was in there, y'all. But you, here, let me just put on Shorty again. Okay, now we know Hans Candy, a red dog. They got a picture right there. Grand champion Hans Candy was a red dog. What color was her father? Before the Sabo was a red dog. Sorry, what color was her mother? A red dog. Now remember, he's 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 a quarter sable. Hold on, okay? let me he's see. A quarter yeah, sable yeah. and he's seventy five percent boomerang. That's what I was told years ago. And as breeding that line of dogs, it shows because it's like this: you're not going to you're not going to Bujo yard and find no white dog. If you find a white dog in that man yard, something is wrong. That's a cross. Something is 
black is a is, is a dominant color and and it, it doesn't hide you know it's like even if you have a black dog okay we we, we gonna put uh the low gator stuff they black dogs they might throw a buckskin dog don't take me wrong but majority that later will be black you might get one or two buckskins even even though that you might have a quarter at that old mexican stuff you still gonna get about two to three puppies that's black they pick they both parents could be brown but if their background is black that black will show up that's right with the shorty cowboy that shit don't show up so if you have them dog for many years you know that you know what i'm saying like when i do breed my dogs yo i might get one black out of out maybe out of every litter because of the destroyer or the crocomo stuff that's where you get that's where it comes but sometimes you don't get no black at all and that's it right there the black don't show up so the shorty cowboy stuff that pedigree right there that's a fake ass pedigree hands down I, I got another super chat with a question from my man don don appreciate the love don don for the super chat with the plinky <coughs> he said black eyes what were some of the best attributes that Shorty possessed then that made you start breeding the line? Yo, that's a that's a <laughs> that's a real good one, bro. That's a real good one. You know, uh, sometimes in life, I'm, I'm gonna give you something that a lot of people, you know, times has changed, but back then in that time, seeing is believing. Man could tell you, any I had a, I had a daughter, Crumbs Cremator, back in the days. You know, so I paid a lot of money for that bitch. And uh, I had on I had a uh, on the chain. She looking good. I was like, yeah, I got a daughter, Crumbs Cremator. I had a son of Tonka. I had man, I had all them dogs, and I had a little bitch from uh, Hardline, and she was off of Gertie. That was the Toro stuff. Her name was Sassy, and he said, yo, I want to sell you a nice dog, guys. I said, yo, man, how much you want for the bitch? He gave me if I say, man, I'm not coming to get that bitch. You got to drive up Jersey for that bitch. For the money he said yo i'm coming i'm on my way i got this little bitch she was real pretty so i turned around i bought her you know what I'm saying my baby mother at the time said she want her i said you want that dog she said i like her she's feisty so we try to make the bitch a house dog i don't know what happened she got out the fucking door and went straight to the back and met that crumb crew made a bitch and believe it or not that crumb crew made a bitch she was giving away i gave her away right away you know what i'm saying uh Seeing is believing, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's like you make a breeding, take a picture. Take a picture of that litter. Take a picture of the breeder. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them papers. Take a picture of the breeding so you know for sure this is what you're breeding. You know, everybody's is hooked up on, oh man, uh, I got this, I got that. You know? so how you really know that's what it is? If you, if you put 20, if you put $2,000, you put $1,000 in a man's hand. That whole litter dies. How you know that dog is really off that litter? If you ain't got a picture of the whole litter, if you ain't got a picture of that dog under the mother, how you know that's what it is, man? When it comes to money, money makes people get funny, man. And I know that. That's why I travel all over for what I want. And what I, I, I believe in seeing what I want. Seeing is believing, you know? Uh, so did you see some in the shorty cowboy dog? And what did what if it was something? What were you seeing? Because you definitely made some no, good reasons. Let, 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 let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. Back in the days, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You live up north, you gonna talk shit, man. When you get that phone call, you better answer that bitch. You, you know what I'm saying? You know it. So it was like it was like it was like one day some shit happened in Scratch Line selling out their dog. And they had that Métis bitch, made it a blondie. And everybody wanted that bitch, but the ticket was high. So I left my, uh, I left, I was, I, I was in Jersey, but I had a crib in New York that nobody had known about. And I jumped in the cab straight, straight to Jersey, met my man Pete, Pete rest his soul, Pete Martinez. It was a good dude. That, that was like my brother. He was Spanish, but he was, that dude was like my brother, you know? Uh, he picked me up. We, 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 we jumped in that car. We went straight to Scratch Line House. We knocked on that door at one o'clock in the night, in the morning. His wife screamed out, what the hell you all want? 
I said, we came to get some dogs. Okay, get your ass up. Go downstairs, answer that door. We getting rid of all these bitches. <laughs> so we went down there. He showed me a couple dogs. I said, man, I don't want that shit, man. I heard something in the other back room. He had another room. I said, yo, what's in this room? He said, oh, man, them dogs is different. I said, bro, open that goddamn door. He opened that door. The price that the ticket on them dogs. I was like, what you say you want for them dogs? I said, yo, throw them two puppies in. He looked at me, opened it up. He said, you going to pay me for all this money for them dogs? Yo, you see what you want, and you buy what you want. You know what I'm saying? And truthfully and honestly, that's where I really got my good dog from Scratch Line Kennel. Hands down. I can, I can honestly admit it. Baby Ray, champion Baby Ray. I got Macy. I got China. I had that skunky bitch off of, off of Ruckus to Ronda. And, and at that time, Scratch Line... It was the shit. You know what I'm saying back then I had I had whooped their ass. And uh I had made uh I had made champion with Leonardo by beating scratch line. This is back in like I don't know, like uh ninety ninety eight, ninety seven, some shit like that. And we went right there after that and I got them dogs from the ninety six, ninety seven, some shit like that. And uh and those dogs right there, I kept them dogs for all these years. I just bred them dogs on top of each other. I never came, I never came, I never came out, and I got Bam, and then I put Bam on top of it. And I just kept it, and I just kept it just like that. Then I might add a little piece and come back home, you know? Uh, when, when, when you have dogs, it's, it's a job. It's not like, it's not like what people say, oh man, I, I, had, a, I had a son of a uh, Barracuda. Okay, what you got today? If, if you love these dogs that much, what you got today? You say you got it, 10 years later, it's gone. You see something else that you like, so you get rid of that. Yo, my dogs is like my family. I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? My kids come first, then after that, my dogs, man. You know, I had uh, many relationships. And one thing I do, I go with my album, my photo album. That's me. You know what I'm saying? All the great dogs. I have pictures of all the great dogs. I travel to everybody, y'all. Fat Bill, Fat Bill Yard and all. And some people say Fat Bill Prejudice. He's not. Fat Bill let us in that house. Fat Bill talk more shit than, than anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like I always say, I tell everybody he got the wrong end of the deal, man. Fat Bill had liked black people. And when he started liking black people, yo, all them people down there really turned on him. I'm just being real, you know? So nobody can come to me and tell me Fat Bill is racist. They can't do that, you know? Uh, his own people turned him in. His own people, bro. It wasn't no brothers. It was his own people. And that's the bottom line. Uh, you know, dumb journeys right there. It was good journeys. It was like, it was like Jersey, Jersey. Let me tell you something. They have one black dude that I really, uh, he, never, he never really got the credit. And uh, everybody talk about Awesome Beast. Awesome Beast came out my backyard. We have bought four dogs from Dragonfire. Yo, them bitches couldn't even run them out. And the last one was Beast. We sold that bitch for $800. And they end up with Beast. That man had about three grand champions. That man had about, I don't know, about seven, eight champions. Size them up, Kennel, Biz, and L. You know what I'm saying? Yo, them dudes was like, them dudes was like, they was in the, they was in the hood, but them dudes was like, them dudes was the real thing, bro. Hands down, hands down. You know, Jersey Boy Paul, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Uh, he had uh, Carl Mims. He, he was a good dude, man. He, he, Carl Mims was different. You know, he was he was just a different guy. He he was a dog fanatic, you know. And uh, he could sit down and talk dogs all the time with you. You know what you're talking about, you know. Uh, it had a lot of, it had a lot of, it had a lot of, we had a lot of good times. It was more... I don't know about now, but I know back then it was more unity and the love for the dogs. You know what I'm saying? We all had each other dogs. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't running, oh man, oh, this is, no, we wasn't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Beast made, we want beast dogs. You know what I'm saying? Pizza man Sammy, we want Sammy dogs. You know what I'm saying? 357, we want 357 dogs. 
You know what I'm saying? But we was more, we gonna breach of that dog. We taking our bitch, we gonna spend the night, two nights, three nights, and we gonna make sure we stick to that motherfucker right there. So when we get home, ain't nobody gonna say, man, you sure you bred to that? Nah, it wasn't like that back then. You know what I'm saying? And one thing I always learned, I just took pictures everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. The other day, I seen a picture of me with a, with, with Champion Sugar up on the internet. So a while back, and I was like, how the fuck they get that picture? Lockjaw Kennel was one of the first dudes say they're gonna write a book. I gave him about 40 pictures with all the champions, Grand Champion, Buck Grand Champion, Yellow. I'm next to these dogs and I'm taking pictures. And all of a sudden, he can't find the pictures. But the pictures, one of the pictures, Sugar, came up online. And I texted the dude, yo, where you get that picture from? And he never texts back. You know what I'm saying? And that hurt me a lot, you know? Uh, because a lot of people, they're not going to do that. They're going to come to your yard and they're going to, mm. you know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, oh, man, this is this and this. Nah, bro, I'm taking pictures. You ain't going to lie to me that tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? When I tell people I see Mayday, everybody have this theory of, and we're going to talk about Mayday in the next, in the next, in the next time. We're going to talk about Mayday. We're going to talk about Mayday and all that shit. I got pictures of all that shit. So I'm just waiting for them. Well, just I had, I answer any questions. Listen, I had, um, I got, I had Mayday on the list for tonight. But while I got you on the shorty cowboy thing, I never got a clear understanding from you of what did you, you really, really like, like about, about the shorty, shorty cowboy? Right. Say that again. What do you really like? What I really like about shorty, I'm gonna tell you something. The honest truth. They was like, uh, they got that, they got that new movie. Uh, what's the name of that boxing dude? Creed. Creed. Yeah, yo, I'm gonna fuck what you do. Them bitches still coming, man. Them bitches, them bitches just had that. They just had that determination in them, and and they they keep coming now. You know what I'm saying? They they keep coming. You know, uh, they 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 was good dogs, man. I'll be honest with you, it was really good dogs. But you know what I'm saying? A lot of people had them, and a lot of people didn't have them. You know, a lot of people say, "Oh man, I have this, I have that," and I just looked at the dog and say, "Nah, he maybe have it in him." That's not the dogs, you know. And uh, it's just like Mayday. Everybody said, "Oh, Mayday was this Mayday, yo, Mayday, Mayday." Whole legacy went down the drain. Why? Because a lot of people were saying, "Oh man, I got this, I got no." Nah, them dogs wasn't even bred that well for Mayday. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother story, you know. And uh, you know what I'm saying? That's how that's how dreams die. You know, it's just like Tab Tab off a of Jeep, man. Come on, stop the bullshit. He was off a of son of Jeep. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to money, everything's everybody believe what they want to believe. You know? But shorty, shorty, yo, let me tell you something. If I still have that line, a dog to this day, that meant something. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell nobody I have the 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 the, the, the greatest dogs in the world. I, I can never say that, but I could tell you this. I think I got I'm one of the last person in the world to have a great family of dogs. You know what I'm saying? And that's the truth, you know what I'm saying? I could tell you, I could tell you, and you know the funny part? I got pictures of all my dogs. My dog's not going to pop up out the mother. I don't have no pictures. That that's that ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I have something called the archives. So every time me and a woman break up, I make sure I grab my archives. She can have everything else. So I don't give a fuck about that. But I go with my archives. So that's the difference, you know? Uh, and back then you had to you had to really know the dogs. The pedigrees was good, but you really had to know the dogs. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it was just a lot of lies. It was always lies, you know. Yeah, I got some yards. Some yards you couldn't even go on. You know, you couldn't. Yo, know, had some yards you couldn't even go on the yards. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say when people talk and they say things about Fat Bell, you know what I'm saying? Yo, it it it, it, it truly and honestly hurts my feelings. I'm gonna tell you why. Because some yards you couldn't even go on. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, man, many of y'all, it's getting dark in here. Motherfucker, it's 12 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? But everybody like your money. Fat Bell, Fat Bell is the one that started that picking. You know what I'm saying? We go down there, we eat, we have fun. We go to Sunny Penny. Y'all, let me tell you something. Fat Bell, he was honest. And, and, and that's from my experience. You know, I can't tell you about another man's experience. You know what I'm saying? But I'll be honest with you, for being in the dogs this long, he's one dude. It got the short end of the stick. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. He did. You know, uh, but other than that, 
Them shorty dogs, they good dogs. Yeah, I got I got I got Bojack on the screen right now. He looked just like Shorty. A little stubby little midget looking dog. Champion Bojack. Hi, Chris Bojack. Yeah, yeah he look he's off of Shorty Cowboy and Hard Oaks Dixie. What Who, color was he? Uh he looked just like my he looked just like uh um Shorty Cowboy. Little stubby leg dog, red. He red. And yeah. got them, he got them wet feet, and it look, he got the white feet, like you said. And he a little midget looking dog. And, mm -hmm. and he's a champion. They had another dog named uh, Bobby. Bobby was a good dog. Yeah, let me see. I seen Bobby in there too. Let me see if I can find Bobby. There's a Bobby Sue in there. Let me see. Bobby Sue. I see him in there. Champion Bobby Sue or Grand Champion Lil Bobby. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to Champion Bobby Sue because they also got a Grand Champion Lil Bobby. Off of Cowboy okay. and Sassy. Then you got uh Champion Bobby uh -huh. Sue off of Bobby Sue. Bobby Sue, remembering her, looking at her uh Bobby Sue, that was, she looked just like a dad. Yeah, here's another dog, web feet. Look like a little midget with that big wide ass chest. Look just like a midget, like you said. Like you said. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yep, she looked just like a, look at them feet, y'all. But one thing about it, you can't, you can't deny them. If you sit up there looking at these little midgets with that goddamn champion behind them, you know it was something to them little asses. You know? I'd like to see some of y'all get into a fight with a midget. <laughs> I'm gonna go get little Bobby. But this is this is a prime example of what a midget to do to your ass if you want to talk about some bulldogs. Bulldog Yo, game. Mr. Boy. Mr. Twig, the other day I was watching the movie, right? This big dude brought up on a little midget, right? Midget dude said, man, get the hell out of here. The midget said, you don't want no trouble. So the dude said, what the fuck you mean I don't want no trouble? Little midget said, I'll be back. He went and got his other friend, another midget came. Then he was like, yo, you you really want you really want to do this? All right. They went and got another midget. So it was still, I was like, oh shit, I cracked up like <laughs> Okay, now I got Grand Champion Little Bobby, six-time winner. They, they ain't got his color on here. He was a buckskin dog. He was a buckskin dog off his yes, shorty. Sir. Yeah. And he, he was crossed with it. He, he got a little Boyle's Red Oak in him. You know, he got a nice little bottom, but they were, they were Cochran dogs. You know, Cochran was the breed. But, but you, you know something, you know something real, real funny? The people them that had the cocky shorty cowboy dogs, they crossed them bitches to balls dogs back in them days. Yeah, I see it right here. Dogs, yep. ball dogs. Yeah, that's right. They crossed it to, to, to they had a bitch called HIV. She was crossed to, uh, I think it was a son of Comanche. Yo, she, she was a bad bitch. I think Sophia, Sophia outraced her. You know what I'm saying? But uh, she had her time. She was old. But that's what they was crossing that stuff to, to give them legs, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the Patrick, the Patrick, even though he had another dog named on Mill Buster's homie, he was another dog. He was, he was, he was. I won't say I, I can't remember his breeding, but I know he was. He was shorty cowboy, crossed a Homer two or some shit like that. You know, what I'm saying them dogs was good dogs. Yeah, you homie know, was. was a, yeah, dogs. he was a rough ass dog. I seen him when I was at Mill Buster's yard. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was a little short, little tank too, though. You know, I, I'll tell you how they got that dog. I'm gonna tell you how they got that dog. They had a uh, they had a party one day down in uh, Virginia, and uh, old man uh, Garland McDaniel had that dog. You know, old man Garland McDaniel had that dog, and uh, he gave it to this little yard, his yard boy, and he blew hot. And I watched Charlie. 
schemed that man out there, dog, for three hundred dollars. See, look at him. He's a hard buying car. Look at he can't close his mouth. He's no good. And his partner came and said, "Yo, sell me the dog. You know, I need, I need, I need a nice big head dog." And they bought it for three hundred dollars. That's how they got Melbuster's on me. He was Believe a killer it. too. He was a killer. Yes, sir. He was a killer. Yes. You know, so uh, you know, that's 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 back in them days was different. You know, back in them days, you go, you see, you go in the yard, they feed you, you go out, you have breakfast, you have lunch, you have dinner. You know, it wasn't it, it was it was it, it was it was more honorable because if you did something wrong, everybody gonna know not to fuck with you. You know, what I'm saying they gonna stay the hell away from you. You know. So uh, that's how it was back in them days, you know. Hey, I got so, another super chat from my man Crockett. Appreciate the love, Crockett, for the five piece. Crockett said, y'all hit that like button. Okay, I got another champion here, uh, Snowman. Another Snowman champion, Alice Snowman off of Cochran. Look at it, white with red, uh, white dog with black nose. His chain weight was 50 pounds. Come on by where that gunner dog. Oh, Randy's gunner. The alien stuff. White dog. You weren't lying when you said you didn't throw no black dog, was you? They go Lily White. Okay, we're gonna go find Bobby Sue's son, y'all. Yeah, that's 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 wild. I never looked at Shorty like that, but I see he was bred a lot, that's for damn sure. Okay, we are we on Bobby Sue and her offspring. Okay, now we on that push rod. That Royal Bull that, push rod, okay? That 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 sounds familiar. Hold on, let me check it out. Okay, now he's a shorty cowboy dog. He don't he he, he ain't got no really bad looking legs. He ain't got no red in here. He a buff skin dog though. Say he's a pure midnight cowboy dog. Okay, is that one the way they want me to push up? What, 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 what color is he? He buff skin. Yeah. And who he's off of? Uh, Shorty Cowboy and Bobby Sue. So that's a that's a daughter, uh, father breed. Yeah. That that that, that name sounds familiar. I know you told me that uh, that's the son off of Bobby Sue. That's the son of hold Bobby on, Sue. Hold, hold, Royal Bulls push rod. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me, let me pull up his pedigree. Let me find his pedigree. This dog look. Let's see, okay, here we go. Yeah, he. This dog look familiar. He he really looks familiar. Uh, I know this dog. He's not off a of cotton short cowboy. Hmm. He's not off a of cotton short cowboy. Let me see. Uh, his little mates. Let me see. Go go to uh. Go to his, go to his offsprings. I mean, go to his siblings. Go to his siblings. I don't, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but go to his siblings. Okay, I'm in the siblings. They got a dog named uh, Dice. Right, go to the bottom of his pedigree. Go to the bottom and come up. Okay, I'm at Dice now. That's the double bred shorty cowboy. You know something? And he's white, right? Yeah. I don't need to look at this pedigree. I know that dog. That dog, it was, it was, it was. The whole litter was white. And it had one buckskin female in that litter. It had no buckskin males in that litter. Okay, that dog looked like who the fuck that dog? That dog looked like who that dog? Oh my God! Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm gonna tell you who he off. Give me a minute. Damn, I got old memory. Give me a minute. And they say he white. We are seeing a lot of white dogs coming off of shorty, ain't we? Don't. Yeah, but Why now, give me a minute. I'm gonna tell you who that dog off of right now. 
I'm gonna take you that dog off for right now. He 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 might have cop and shorty cowboy. Don't take me wrong, but that's not his father. That that's not his father. Mm. That is not his father. Uh, and Cochran had another dog he used to breed. What the fuck was that dog name? He named Chief. Yeah, uh, Cherokee. Let me see. Cherokee Chief. Yeah, uh, so, I know. I, I know what you're talking listen, about. Go, I seen him. Go to Bobby. Go to Bobby Sue. Go to Bobby Sue. Pedigree and go to her offspring. They said that's the one that we was pointing that had the dick. They saying that dog go, was the go, dog. Go, that... go, wait, go to Bobby Sue Pedigree. I'm on Bobby Sue now. Go to her offspring. His name is Indian Chief. I forgot he's a bolio fucking dog. Oh my god. His sister was up. His sister was up uh in 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 up north. Doctor was crazy. Chief. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We see it. We see it right here. Well, 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 who she was bred to? What other dog she was bred to? Okay, I got I got crazy chief Indian right chief. here. Yeah. Indian Chief. What, what's what's the dog name? Crazy Chief. That's his father. Yeah, Crazy Chief. That's his father. It looked like him too. Look just like him. Yeah, that's not, that's not, that's not, bro. Listen to me. Ain't no way in the world you gonna breed them dogs back to each other and them dogs gonna have straight legs. It doesn't work like that. That's his father. His father is. What was what you say his father name? Cherokee Chief? What's his father name? His father is Crazy Chief. Cockroach crazy, crazy chief. That, that's the dog right there. That's push hey, wild daddy, y'all. Look, 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 it, come on, y'all. Y'all see it. Looking at his pedigree. Looking at his pedigree. He looks just like his father. Arizona. Crazy chief was off of Patrick's Arizona. He was a Patrick dog. Patrick Boyle's dog. That's it right there. That's it. And he that's looked just dog. like that dog. He looked just like him. Yeah, that's who that dog was. But you know something? Sometimes you might buy a dog from somebody and they'll give you another pedigree and tell y'all, man, this dog is all for that. Yo, let me tell you something. Genetics don't lie. You know what I'm saying? Details don't lie. I don't give a fuck what you do, what you say. It doesn't lie. No, no, no. That's look, that dog's fault. Look here. Shout out to my man, Bo and Nim. Bo and Nim. He called it too. That's what I be saying about they know that chat. He called it right before you. And he said, "No, that right dog right there, that's that damn crazy chief. He looked like crazy chief." You're right. No, that's 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 that dog father right there. Shout out to you. Uh, listen, listen, twin, 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 listen to me. Twin, listen to me. You cannot have shorty cowboy dogs inbred shorty to his children, his daughter, and them dogs have straight legs and small feet. That dog looks just like a bolio dog. Just look at the dog. Well, it, we, it, it's not gonna lie. Right. You, you look at his look, listen to me, you look at his mother. She got short, she looks just like Shorty. Everything she got a shorty. So you bring it back to the father. How the fuck you gonna have dogs with with, 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 with little feet? It doesn't work like that. Genetics don't lie. You know what I'm saying? It it doesn't. You know? Oh yeah. If, I this, dog, if this dog don't oh, jump like yeah. dog. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's evident. Oh yeah. He was, that dog was definitely not off for shorty. Push Rod was not off for shorty. Push Rod was off for Bobby Sue and Crazy T. That's evidence right there, fellas. We've seen it for ourselves. They want me good, but let me do it one more time. One more time. This is this is push rod. See what he looking like. His push rod mama. He off a shorty. There go that damn midget shit. You know, I'll tell you this right now. I'll tell you this right now. Uh, most of the uh, the, the Cherokee Chief stuff. I keep saying Crazy Chief. What the hell the dog name? Yo, he threw a bunch of black dogs. He threw a bunch of black dogs. And his sister did. Did. Yeah, that's crazy, Chief, right there. 
Yeah, I, I would I would have to say, you know, that's it. That's a Maurice Carver retching the jaw and grab one out. Cause he like he, he looked just like that dog. He looked just like Push Rod. And being bred back to, to Bobby Sue, yeah, it, it it you know what I'm saying? The genetics is all over the place. There's more more evidence saying that he sure wasn't off a of shorty, that's for damn sure. We all got eyes. We all can see. We can all come to our own conclusion. But hey, when I'm looking at it like the way I'm looking at it, that's good information. That's real good information. And look, Yo, confirmation, look, listen to me. Confirmation on them dogs doesn't lie. The confirmation with the web, it doesn't lie. You can't, you can't, you can't just say, hey. Listen, this dog brought back. It doesn't work like that. If you look at the dog, litter mates, all of them are white. Right, now they got on here, they got, now they got a litter mate. Now this dog, that I would say, the push rod and shadow are litter mates. Because push rod and Sh uh, shadow was off a of crazy chief, bred the Bobby Sue, right? Listen to me, I wanted one of them dogs back in the days. Okay, I wanted one of them dogs. But you know something? Some things is for you, and some things is for them. Always remember that. Something is for you, and something is for them. It only had one buckskin dog in that litter, and it was a female. Now this dog right here, crazy, uh, Cochran Shadow, was off a of crazy cheap, and Bobby Sue was a buckskin, white, black nose. Yeah, but look at the dog. It don't look just like the father. It did. Cherokee Chief or Crazy Chief, whatever the hell his name yeah, is. Yeah, it looked just like Crazy Chief. It looked just like him. And confirmation doesn't lie. And then you look at the little female Bobby Sue, and you would say, "Well, damn, that's it's almost evident because the female looked like him too." Right. Hey, I got another the super the chat. The female look. The female look just like her father. So yes. if you breed two of them together, you're going to get the same thing. You're going to get the same thing. Confirmation, let me tell you something. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't hide. You can't hide that look. I don't give a fuck what you do. You can't hide it. It's right there in your face. How you going to hide it? Hey, I got a super chat from my man Prentice Carr. Appreciate the super chat with the 10 piece, Mr. Prentice Carr. He said, one of the signs that you have real boomerang dogs is when you tighten the blood, white dogs will come out. So if Shorty Cowboy is really a heavy boomerang dog, then the proof is in the pudding. Yes, sir. I'm telling you. I'm t but you know, so you know the funny part about it? He was a producing dog for that pedigree that they had on him. He was a producing dog. Just look at his pedigree. You, you. Listen to me. They bred him every after every, every different thing. He was a producing dog. Yeah, you just said that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. You Three pages. Three pages. Yes, sir. He was a producing dog. So you you had to look at that dog totally like where the hell he came from. Is that really his pedigree? You know what I'm saying? I know that line of dog with his pedigree. Them dogs hit and miss. I'm gonna just be real with you. But this dog here, even three, four generations, them dogs. You know what I'm saying? Them dogs still the same, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about nobody else shorty dogs. I, I can't speak for nobody. I heard it had a guy, I think he was in Indiana, Mississippi, that he had the real, he had the white ones. You know what I'm saying? The old man, old, old man. Uh, you know, I've seen some other ones that people sent me. It was black, their legs not the same. They, they got straight legs, but they got <laughs> shorty them four times. <laughs> Fucking lot. You know, uh, once you start inbreeding them dogs, them dogs gonna come white. So the rumor that I heard years ago that he's really a boomerang dog with a quarter shavel, some dude's name, last name White, out of Florida. I think it was from the Panhandle or some shit like that. They had they, they was getting out of dogs. Them dudes was in dogs a long time and they gave gave him some dogs to cross. He took the dog. I don't know what happened, but Frank Hopkins ended up with the dog and started bringing the dog. The dog started, you know what I'm saying? Showing his, his true qualities. 
know. And uh, but when you have that family of dogs, them dogs come out, they don't look like him. What you really got? You know, mm -hmm. I got I got a uh, a heavy dog that blood, but he's black. But in every litter, he do throw one black dog. Just one, cause he's black. He got the crocodile stuff in him, and he got destroyed the mother in him. And uh, but the most of the rest of them dogs, they look like shorty. Or they look like shorty cowboy. So, you know, I can't tell you what what they got out there today. I only can tell you what I know, or what I've seen, many years. But uh, that dog we was just talking about, any shorty Cochrane dog that's inbred, they had a dude named Twin from New York. Twin had some. Another dude named Rule. Rule had some. It was real shorty cowboy dogs. They got another one named Jack. I think he just died. He was from North Carolina. Yeah, I know Twin. I know Twin too. Yeah, I know yeah. Twin. Yeah. They had they had real shorty cowboy dogs. Yeah, they did. You know what I'm saying? And like I tell people, what did they cost them dogs with foils? It's gonna cost some of them dogs. When you see black in them dogs, of course, it's it's, it's come on. Black is a dominant color. Yes, it it's is. Gonna show up. But once you start inbreeding them dogs, that trait, that egg train short traits, it comes out. And that's it. You know, uh, any other questions anybody want to ask? Yes, I, I have now, you know, I put in this conversation with the shorty cowboy situation. I also left the door open for you to just, just give us a little in depth, not it too in depth because we could save it for another show. But we talked about the Mayday and the Honey Bunch situation. I want you to see if you could elaborate on that with the time we have. Okay, what's the Mayday Honey situation? Well, we, I'll tell you this right now. The Mayday, the Mayday one would be real good because a lot of people really think they have Mayday dogs that they date. That's another whole story again. <laughs> Only a handful of people had them dogs. Only a handful of people got them dogs. And that story will be for another time. And I popped them pictures. And uh, it's like a dude argue. Oh man, I, I read it in a book. Uh, Victor said, uh, Victor, Victor bought them dogs from Mr. Holloway. No, he fucking didn't. Them dogs was born on Ed Farron Yard in 1990. I seen them. It was six puppies. It was four females and two males. That Madonna bitch, I end up with Madonna. Madonna died in my yard. Madonna, I bred that bitch two times, never had nothing off of her. She came, I think she came out of Florida. I got her from, I think it's Latin Connections or some shit I got her from. She ain't never gave me shit. Just being real. You know, uh, I think I brought to Mayday in 94. Yeah, I brought to Mayday in 94. And uh, I met her daughter, STP Toro. She was off of uh, Toro to Jezebel. Jezebel was off of uh, Jocko. She was a champion, too. You know what I'm saying? Champion Jezebel. Toro. Don Gertie. I got Gertie from, uh, uh, what the hell that man named? Sonny Penny. Gusto Boys. There were some bad dudes back then. You go down there, they talking shit from the time you come in the gate. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Back then, it was, it was, it was you talk about the, the, the late 80s, you know? Uh, it, 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 it was a journey, you know? Everybody asked me to write a book, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one of these days, I don't know. I know I got the pictures to go with that shit. So, uh, well, we know a lot about it before he left, based on uh, my years of dealing with him. Yeah, after I met him, you know, I knew what he had on the ground while he was here, and then I know that a whole lot of shit changed once he got over there in Ecuador. I, I don't know well, I, what he was sending. Well, I, 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 I'm gonna leave this with you everybody jumps up and they talk about Mayday. Mm hmm. 
you have you have different characteristics that dogs throw. They throw some dogs throw better females, some dogs throw better males. May they throw better females. Yes, he did. I be telling them that though, man. I be trying to tell them. I said the you best dog man they had was bitches. What was his greatest dog? Everybody say that. See, six hundred was his best male. Best. Oh well, Barracuda. Barracuda was not off of anything. He's not. People sit down today and say, oh, man, Barracuda, he's not off of Mayday. He's off of Death Lip. He was one of Death Lip's last breedings. Mm -hmm. That's what he's off of. Just take a picture. Just look up Death Lip and look up Barracuda. They're the same dog. The color. That color again. We know what kind no, of color. No, no, no. It has nothing to do with the color. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. Look at the feet. Look, look at everything on the dog. It's right there. It doesn't lie. You know, everything is right there. People post things. It's right there in your face. It's right there in your face. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's like you post something 20 years ago and you breathe it. You get sons and you get daughters. It's right there in your face. What happened to his little mate? His little mate go, now you get a dog that he threw all black dog, but his brother threw all white dogs. And then they kiss the all white dogs, but this one, no, nothing comes black. That's not right. Something wrong with that genetic makeup. Any dog that left, now, I'm going to clear this up now, because I, I don't want nobody coming back at me and tell me I'm crazy, but I'm going to tell you this. When Victor left in May Day in 2000, he was shooting blanks. Enough. Now, I can say this. If he, a bitch did catch, she'll have no more than one or two puppies. So when you see all the big litters coming off that dog, think about it. Was they really off of May Day? So when them dogs, they was ducks. A lot of them was ducks. I know for a fact one of the last breeders to May Day was CD. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's it. So when you see a litter of puppies, you'd be like, oh man, that's a litter of eight. Oh man, that's a litter of nine. Bro, impossible. Because his sperm could not be frozen because they couldn't do it. It was a waste of time. So it got people, oh man, we got Mayday semen. That's a lot. But Victor not going to give you Mayday semen. Victor did have Mayday semen. Yes, he did. But it got spoiled. He stored it himself and it got spoiled. Me and Victor is very good friends. You know what I'm saying? So it got spoiled. So there was no semen frozen off of Mayday. None at all. Everybody say, oh, may they throw this, may they throw that. I just left it alone. See, it's, it's like, it's like you taking, you taking history and fucking it up. So then you say, oh man, I got this right here. I got this right here. Just like the yellow dogs. Oh man, I got this, I got that. Yo, listen to me. I had a dude the other day gonna tell me he had a brother to triple A. I said, you had what? Uh, I had a brother, I say, bro, it's impossible you had a brother to AAA. When Sassy was bred, okay, when Sassy was bred to Buck, it was bred four times. Only two times took, and I think two or three times didn't take. So what he did, he traded a son of Buck. He, I think it was Jedi brother, okay? He traded, I think he got a puppy back from Stone City. That's where Red Devil come from. That's not no litter mate to AAA and his sister. It was only two puppies born. It was only two. So then you turn around years later and you get these dogs and they heavy AAA, but they don't come brindle. How the fuck they gonna be AAA and don't come brindle? You heavy on a Jocko. They supposed to come brindle. He do brindle dogs. So how you gonna have dogs today and they don't come brindle? And you say they AAA dogs. Triple A was born in what? You can hold me to this. 88, 89. Mayday was born in 90. By 91 and a half, Yellow was shooting blanks. He died in 94. It was breeding a dog named Burn Stumpy and saying it was yellow. It was breeding to Wakamas Big John and saying it was yellow. That's it. Burn Stumpy dog. He was a guy. A spider. I had a son of Burn Stumpy, the champion Selena. He was a good dog. 
But like I tell people all the time, you got to look at the years. If you wasn't around for the years, you know, it was like you telling me today, you have a you have a son of a grandson of AAA. It's impossible. There's no way in the world you can have that. If you can't find a grandson of Mayday that's a ROM in 1996 made ROM, how you gonna get a grandson of AAA? So what you telling me, you rather AAA, you rather Mayday? You can't find another Mayday. So how you think you gonna find some of AAA? And he was born after. It's just the lies and the lies and the lies and the lies. Just goes on and goes on and, and some people believe the lies. You know, uh, and that's what happened with these dogs. You know, coloration doesn't lie, pattern doesn't lie. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just like, it's just like, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's like you start seeing different shapes and different style. If you really look at, look, look at that dog, Buck Rogers. He looks like a goddamn Buck dog. Really? Look at him. But then you see another dog. Okay, listen to me. You look at him. And everybody, when I tell people Mayday and Blondie was one of the best breed it was. Because Lady and Ray and Buck was little mates. So all you did was flipping. That's all you did was flipping. That's how that's how all the great dogs. If you look at all the dogs that was bred to Mayday, which dog still stands out? Yeah. The Mayday Buck. So basically, they stand it. They stand for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people. A lot of people say they got them. I don't. I don't know what a man got in this yard. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't tell you what a man got in this yard. You know what I'm saying? But don't bring that. Don't bring that pedigree to me, because I'm gonna tell you the truth is a lie. And that's the bottom line. You know? May they had. May they dogs had a different look. Barracuda dogs have a way different look. You know what I'm saying? A way different look. And, and honestly, Barracuda produced way better than any Mayday son. I'm just being truthful and honest. He did. Why? Because he was not a cross. Barracuda deadlift was a, a red boy Jocko dog in and out. Once you start breeding a dog, a dog becomes a family. And a lot of people that have these dogs don't even understand that. It comes a family, not because, oh man, it's 50% Eli, it's 50% uh, Red Boy. You breed that back to something, you start line breeding. Then you do it again, you, you, you line breed it. It becomes a family. And only one thing can happen is it could get stronger or it could get weaker. Confirmation could get weaker. The dog's not strong no more. The dogs is like they teeth, you know what I'm saying? The teeth crack out. Why? Got a crossing. You see what I'm saying? It, it, it's like you taking something and you just marinate, marinate, marinate. And, and that's what happens a lot with the dogs. A lot of people never understand that. You know what I'm saying? You got to go out. So it's like I say with the shorty dogs, there's no way you can have a tight breast shorty dogs and it doesn't show you that. You got to go out. So now you go out, you come back. You go out again, you come back. Then you double up. Then you go back into the shorty. It's going to show the same genetic makeup. It's going to have the same confirmation. It's going to have the same color. It might not be that short. But it's going to look like the dogs. Mm -hmm. That's the difference with them dogs. So when people say things about certain dogs, just, okay, we're going we gonna, to we gonna, we gonna jump off a of shorty. Grand Champion Midnight. Jesse Rods Midnight. All them dogs look alike. If somebody jumps and says, oh, man, they had a white Midnight dog. You a lie. You a lie, dude, bro. One dog came off of Midnight that was, uh, he was like, uh, he was like a rush colored dog. I forgot his name. I have a picture of the dog. Listen to me. That's the only one ever came. White foot was jet black with a white foot. That's why they call him white foot. Them dogs all look alike. Five generations later, they look alike. They can't hide. Even if you out cross them, some dogs still gonna come out looking like midnight. And that's it. No matter, even if you breed the second generation, you still gonna see black in them dogs. Them puppies gonna come black. You might get a buckskin one. You might get another color because you only have a quarter midnight. But them dogs, that's, 
that's a dominant color. And when people don't understand that, people believe that, oh man, a man tell them this is this. A man tell them that they believe everything they hear. Did you see it for yourself? Is that person an honest person? Could you trust? I want a man, y'all. I want to see your oldest dog. What's your oldest dog? Oh, man, I don't got no old dogs. So how you going to tell me your story? You don't have a story to tell, bro. You don't. You know what I'm saying? Because your dogs is like your family. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes back in the days when I go to people's house, I don't want the, I don't want the dogs in the bushes. I don't want the dog behind the fence. I want the dogs next to your window. That's what I want. The dogs next to your window. I want the dogs on your back porch. Okay? I want the dogs as soon as you look out your window, your bedroom window. That's the dog I want. Why? Because that dog got value to you. It's too close to you. I don't want the dogs in the back. I want that dog right there. Hey, and that's the difference. Hey, I, I got some um, I got some super chats I got to catch up on, so I don't mean to interrupt you, but let me... They get no, that's cool. That's cool, bro. That's cool. Do your thing. Okay. want to give a big shout out to my man, AJ, with the super chat for the five piece. He said, utmost respect to the twins for scratching hard every show. Shark Tank growing for a reason. Soaking up the jewels of knowledge every time. Salutes, GHK. Appreciate the love, AJ. I have another uh, super sticker for my man, Mason. Appreciate the love, Mr. Mason, for the super sticker. Uh, I have another one from my man, Dredd. Thanks for the five piece, Dredd. He said, Ask Black Ice when his book's coming out. We need it. Ice, when are you going to be dropping that book, man? One of these days, maybe when I get old and I have time. Okay. But that means that, I mean, we are looking forward to in the well, near future? We got to find somebody to know how to write. Ain't that Ice? You know, I'll be hearing the same story. I don't know how to write. I don't even know where to start at. I just start talking and then let them figure out what to put down. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you, start with one thing, you jump off that one subject, you go to another whole subject. Yeah, yeah. It, it, because it's, just, it's, it's like a tree. We got so many branches here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got so many ways, like we jumped off of the shorty and jumped into the mat, and you know, they all got blew. I know they got blew away with the Barracuda thing. I know they got blew away with the Barracuda thing. I got another super chat from my man walking down round Big Step, and he said, please to the chat, salute to the OGs, Twin One and Twin Two, and the big homie Black Ice. Keep bringing that heat, S2W. <laughs> Appreciate the love, my man. Big walking down ramp, big stepping with the super chat, showing the love. <laughs> that was a good one there. You know, yeah, yeah, blew me on that one. I'm trying to, not yet. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I saved them over here. But no, I'll put them back. Yeah, I got some more pictures that uh, somebody sent me of some shorty cowboy dogs, and I ain't no bullshit. They they got them little stubby legs. <laughs> yeah, walking down ramp sent me some pictures. I'm trying to get up here, y'all. I mean, and they shorty cowboy dogs, and you know they shorty cowboy. There's no doubt because you can look at them and tell. Yeah, definitely shorty. I'm just wondering if they uploaded that. You know, it takes him a minute. Get over here to my drive. But I'm, I'm trying to get there. I am definitely trying to get there. Hold on. Hey, Ice. Yo, Twin, I want to ask you a question. Who would you say was one of the best breeders in the 60s? In the 60s? Yes, sir. Wow, that's a good one. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't know who to say as far as the 60s. What you think? Would you I say, mean, to uh, me, I, I, would, you say, would you say Floyd Boudreaux? It, it, uh, Maurice Carver? What would you say? I mean, I'm a, I'm a Maurice Carver man. 
me personally, you know, not because of the way he did the papers. It was just the way he did the dogs. You know, the, they was they was matching dogs with his shit. Listen to me. I don't give Maurice Carl for that. You know, I give you know I give his credit to. Who you give it to? Ed Crenshaw. Well, yeah. Well, you know, uh, Harold, uh, Eminem and M said the same thing. They were saying Ed the same Crenshaw. thing about Ed Crenshaw. Yes, they did. That's right. I give it to Ed Crenshaw. But he was doing the dogs. I thought you said the best breeder, though, because best breeder dogs. But most of Maurice Carver dogs had Ed Crenshaw blood in it. Okay. You know. Fill me in, bro. You know, I'm just, I ain't like y'all. I, I, I'm just trying to figure out why you said that. Because I know Mo, he always been on that Maurice Carver shit because, you know, Maurice was doing the dogs. But, he, you know, like you said, Crenshaw was the one that was actually supplying the dogs. So right. they was breeding at Crenshaw dogs to the Bully Sun dogs. And that's what brought a lot of great dogs. It's like it's like Snake Man said the other day in his interview that uh he had the spike dogs. And I seen a lot of spike dogs. Some dogs was white. Some dogs was white patches, all kind of shit. Yeah. But then all of a sudden you see everybody running with the dogs. Oh man, we got spike dogs, but they black. Snake Man came out of his own mouth and said, Hey, no, hold on. That dog was off my Pedro dog. You know what I'm saying? He blocked me for a moment, but then they put me back on. They said, you can't block him. Put him back on. And he admitted. He said, hey, listen, Lil Gator's off of Pedro. That's why them dogs continue throwing black dogs with the red eyes. Mm. That's what they are. You know? And uh, like I said, to me, truthfully and honestly, if you wasn't there to see them dogs, you don't even know them dogs. You just you just gotta take what you see. The old timers always say, "See with your eyes, and don't let nobody tell you nothing." You know, and that's basically it. Just like I said, uh, Nigorino, Nigorino and Jocko, look all them dogs. They all look alike, and that's the truth. Some of us just believe that you hear a story, so you run with the story. You know. And I'll tell you this right now, and, and, and I told a dude this the other day, if you look at them midnight dogs real good, just look at them, look at their body. Just look at their body and look at a, a regular Eli dog. They don't look nothing alike. Nothing alike. Nothing alike. When you turn around, you take a termite dog, they ashy black. You look at a booty sun dog, they black. You look at a midnight dog, they shiny black. But their front legs stand straight. That's a midnight dog. Their front legs stand straight. You see what I'm saying? So it's like they got legs like big, basically like a doberman pincher. Just straight legs. When you look at the midnight dogs, they got little ears, and they just got that unique look about them. Some dogs just got that unique look about them. Some dogs don't. You know, back then you had different characteristics. You know. Uh, in the dogs, and you know, it's just like it's just like the old man Kimaziski. He he was breeding pit bulls to staff, but them dogs was good. I seen people breed patterdales to pit bulls, and them dogs was good. It'll surprise you, you know. It will surprise you, the things that people cross them dogs to, and they still be good. Wow, that's right. You never seen a pit bull cross with a paddle there? No. Mm -mm. Bro, have you ever seen a paddle there hunt? I'm from the city, bro. We don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something. That's a whole nother story. But a paddle there is bad as hell. I'm going to tell you that right now. They, they, they game, they got hard. The shit that they go through, shit. Mm -mm. So it's, 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 it's like, it's just different. It's just, you know what I'm saying? When you travel all over and you start seeing a lot of things and 
it's just it's just hard. It's just hard. You know, I know you made a statement the other day, and you said uh, you seen Queen of Hearts, right? Mm-hmm. And I have some Queen of Hearts to buck, but uh, Candy is the best female. Tornado and all the mother dogs, no, no sir. Candy was like, I don't, I don't. I think she was made in a lab. I think she just, they, she just, she had maybe died, and they put metal in her jaw. They, I don't know what the hell they did with her, but she was, she was, she was just something that I don't think you'll ever see again in life. Candy, you ain't gonna never see that again. Never. You know, say she was something like. I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to explain her, you know. Uh, she was she was she was special. She was real special. You know, she was you know, bad as hell. She was a monster. No. Yeah, she was all that and some. You know, back then back then it was love, you know, it was really love. You know, back then if you owe if you owe somebody money and everybody hear that. And they cut your ass off. You steal a dog, they cut your ass off. People watch it too different, you know. Back then, it was more of honor, more respect. It wasn't about uh, this and that, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was no talking, you know. Say, so if you walk in the walk, you gotta, you gotta, if you talk to talk, you gotta walk the walk. That's how it was back then. So people travel all over for the best, you know. Mm-hmm. And truthfully, honestly, out west, we didn't really have nothing about our west back then. We really didn't. It was from Florida to up north. That's all it was. That long road right there, seventy-five. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. It wasn't. It wasn't even Ohio. Ohio came down there a couple of times. You know, Chicago. You know, it was different. You know, you go to a diner, you see twenty, thirty dogmen in a diner eating, talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it, it, it was love, man. It was love. You know, it was real love, man. You know, then afterwards, the 2000s, you know, the, the, the middle 90s, everybody started opening up. And uh, a lot of yards you couldn't go on. Eventually, you could have go on. You know, it was it was just different, you know. Like, if I have another question for you. Hey. This question is from Blackheart Kennels. He said, Black Ice, do termite dogs come out red or buckskin? I don't understand what he mean. Dogs off a termite or termite blood? Uh, it does, doesn't really say, but you can just well, termite, elaborate. Termite, termite only through two color dogs. Black and brindle. He didn't throw no other color. He never threw a red dog in his life. He never did. Now, like I said before with the shorty cowboy, you might have a 50 cross, and you might get something, another color off his kids. But him himself, mm-hmm. he only threw black and brindle dogs. He didn't throw no other color dogs. You see a little term, I know it's black or brindle. Dog, dog brindle. That's it. Wow. I didn't even know that. That's right. I bet anything on the world on that one right there. He only threw black and brindle dogs. He never threw no, he never threw no red dogs. He never threw no buckskin dogs. He never threw none of that. Just that color dog. And that's it. Wow. No, I didn't know that. So, but tell me I was a dark brindle dog. And he was black brindle. Yep. Yeah. I want to give another super chat shout out to my man, Win Mew, for the super sticker. And uh, Win Mew again with a super chat. He says, GHK versus Black Ice. Who you bringing to the dance? He had too much of my shit that I was, I was using. So, you know, 
That's why I don't think we was ever to clash. Look, he go look at. Do I need to go through his shit to show you some why we ended up hooking up? I mean, he had he he was doing the same thing I was doing. I'm I'm to be honest. I think I just caught on. I think I think I wouldn't even be nothing to be talking about if it don't be for Brat. Even though we was we was on a good run with Brat and Mama. I think Brat was the, the, the factor because of Mayday. And then I had the Stone City stuff. Y'all got y'all can't forget that stuff now. He was just talking about Buck Rogers, you know, and how, how close Buck Rogers looked like the Buck Dogs. You know, but because he was. He was the, he was a Mayday Stone City Cross. The first one, to be honest, he was the first one. So he looks just like everything that y'all see after that. He said, the, if you, when you see Buck Rogers, you're going to say, okay, if he's one of the first Mayday Stone City crosses, then you look at Evolution and, and Macho Buck and all them other dogs after that, you're going to see Grand Champion Buck. You look at Buck Rogers, you're going to see he looks like Grand Champion Buck. It's twin, twin. Mm -hmm. We basically had, we basically had, basically around the same set of dogs. I had that champion baby red. That's Macho Buck half sister. I had her. Yeah. I had, I had Macho Buck's mother, Linda Mate's sister. Uh, I had, I had a lot, I had a lot of good dogs, a lot of good dogs. But you know the funny part about it? I still got them dogs. Right. That's, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just marinate them. You know, I come outside. I look at my dogs. I'm happy with my dogs. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it just becomes a family. You know, when you're doing something over forty something years, it just becomes a family. You know, it's like, man, I just love to see them dogs. Them dogs was the good days. You know, the happy days. You know, what I'm saying when when somebody call your ass out, yo, what's going on? You know what I'm saying you go there, you see you see the whole of Florida, and Florida meet Jersey. And Jersey turn around. Jersey got the biggest mouth. You know how Jersey niggas is. Oh yeah. We just talking shit from a jump. Oh man, you crazy as hell. You bring that bitch back, I'll kill that bitch. That's how it was back in those days. You know what I'm saying? But back then, niggas had loaded guns. Ooh. That was the difference. You know what I'm saying? Niggas had loaded guns. Niggas wasn't running and hiding. Nah, they wasn't doing that. They wasn't. Oh man, nah. Niggas wasn't be like, oh man, I gotta, I could beat her. Niggas, niggas never did that. What else you got? You know what I'm saying? It, 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 niggas wasn't picking shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? We let you take your victory and shake your hand. You know what I'm saying? Take care. You know what I'm saying? What else you got? It, it, it wasn't like, I don't know how it is now, but back then it was love. It was a lot of love, man. You know? Many basements, many basements, many garage. <laughs> I remember one time, man, we went out. We went in West Virginia. It was uh, We had a dog named Kong. Was off a termite. It was about four black dudes, and we was in the back of a pickup truck. With a white dude with a shotgun, and two dude, two white dudes in front with shotguns. And I'll be honest with you, that was the most uncomfortable time <laughs> that I ever was ever in front of my face. You know, uh, we turned around. Uh, it was easy. You know, uh, we went home. It was cool. You know, everybody jump when they talk about Gaston. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Gaston was a racist dude, bro. I, I You know what I'm saying? I, I, I see a lot of dudes like, you know what I'm saying? I tell people straight out, yo, I got my own dogs. I, I, I don't care about nobody else's dogs. I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? I got my own dogs. You know, uh, I remember that bamboo dog. Uh, he was bred. And uh, my man sent a sister down to breed the boy. And when he found out who it was, he took a hanger and stick it in her and twist it and pulled it out. And we waited for the pictures and he never sent the pictures. And eventually she just died. So Bamboo was the only one that really made it to produce. And Bamboo was the best producing bucket star that ever lived. If anybody jumped on this line and said no, it would be the greatest debate ever. He produced better than his father. He produced better than Yellow Buck. Bamboo produced the best of all Buck dogs. Catch and wreck Bamboo. What about 357? 
Well, he he is a Buckers dog. No, hell no. Listen to me. Three fifty seven. No, no, no. I, listen to me. I'll be honest. What did he produce with? All his champions came for what? Stone City bitches. Come on. Back to the same family. One just had more yellow, and one see. L- let me tell you the difference. Yellow buck, yellow buck bottom side was what? Yellow double yellow. Buckus bottom side was was double Toro. Toro, a male and a female off a Toro right back to each other. What's her name? Was uh, I forgot. Her. Daisy May, Daisy May. That's it. Come on. You know, so it, it was basically the same blood, but just different bottles. Cause Jocko, Jocko was bred to his sister to bring Toro's mother. Jocko was bred to his daughter to bring yellow mother. You see what I'm saying? So it 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 it, it, it is a funny, funny thing, but it was a different type of style. The Toro stuff, it was up top. The yellow stuff was all over. You know what I'm saying? So basically the Toro stuff basically was one dimensional. You know what I'm saying? But they like on top. So it was it, it, it was a, it was a pattern in them dogs that couldn't lie. You know, like I said, every everything, every every breeding have a pattern. Every breeding have a style. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Have different confirmations, have just different things in the dogs. And a lot of people doesn't look at that. They look at what they want to look at. Oh man, I'm telling you, I got this body. Yo, I'll be honest with you, I haven't seen a bolio dog in twenty years. I haven't seen a Pat Patrick dog in 20 years. Okay, Old Man Hollywood. Ain't nobody like the Hollywood dogs. The only reason Hollywood is 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 out there, right, is because of Mayday. But if it wasn't for Mayday, ain't nobody would have known Mr. Hollywood. He was just would have been a, another man, just like most of the Martin Man dogs is gone. Most of the uh, Frisco dogs is gone. Most of the Chinaman dogs, they had their time. People didn't secure them dogs. It's just like you go to a man, yo, oh man, I got a Frisco dog. Stop it, you don't got no Frisco dog. You got a dog with Frisco in that sucker maybe one time. It's not a Frisco dog. You know what I'm saying? When you have, when you say you have a dog, you have a Frisco dog, you maybe go see that dog four or five times in this pedigree. Yeah, I got, I got a Frisco dog. Okay, we can respect that. But if you don't have that, how you gonna respect it? You have it one time. You have a shorty cowboy dog. It's like me. I got, I got. Shorty Cowboy, but I got it in the pedigree four or five times. Yeah, I got dogs with Shorty Cowboy in it, but I got other stuff in it. But some of the patterns come back to the Shorty dogs. They look alike, they act alike, they shape alike, same color, same markings. It's a difference, you know? Uh, some people say, oh man, I got, a, I, I, I got a heavy yellow dog, but your dog come red nose. I'm in a David Tanner yard. I was saying, yo, he had maybe what a hundred dogs, maybe ten dogs had red nose, the rest was black nose. Come on, but you 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 got these dogs. Yo, I'll be honest with you, pedigree don't mean shit to me. I'ma just be real. Pedigree really don't mean shit to me. Pictures mean a lot more to me because then I know you had them dogs. That's the difference. Pictures mean more to me than anything. Hey, uh, Black Ice, I got another super chat from my man Klingo Kennels with the five piece. He said, great show as always, GSK. Respect, Black Ice. Hey, while I got the Shark Tank looking here, I need y'all to let me know. Somebody name this dog we got up right here. Let me see if y'all familiar. We was just talking about these dogs right quick. And we just want to know, somebody tell me in the chat, Y'all, y'all can respond all at the same time. I got one that said Mancho Buck. And I'm going to see anybody else want to throw in. Uh, Black Ice, can you see this picture? No, I'm not even on, I'm not even on that. I'm okay, on okay. Uh, it, it was based off of something that you said. And uh, that's why. Tell me how the dog break. Oh, you already know. So You I'm, already know because you I'm spoke not, on it. We already spoke on it. That's why we did it. So we're gonna. Listen. I'm gonna see if everybody else. We put the dog else. up to see what they say. Okay. We have Macho Buck. We got Buck Rogers. We got Yellow Buck. Yeah.
Somebody said, is the Embolio cross? But, yeah. Okay. Okay, now, man, Lloyd Taylor said, Macho Buck. Uh-huh. Um, my man, Rudy Kendall said, Buck Rogers. Then Lloyd Kendall said, Yellow Buck. Yeah. Yeah, but if you, if you I look care, at you dogs. said, Buck Rogers. Yeah. Buck Rogers from Gully. Welcome down, Ram said, Buck Rogers. Everybody who said Buck Rogers is correct. You're right. That is Buck Rogers. That, that, that is the first Mayday Stone City Cross right there. So that gives you an idea of what we see today out of those Stone City Mayday dogs. That's what they look like. That was one of the first ones to give you an idea of what they were supposed to look like. Genetics. It's clear that Buck Rogers down there look like Buck. Like like Macho Buck. Like Awesome Buck. And a lot of other dogs that was crossed like that. Like he was saying earlier about genetics. You can't fool and you genetics do not lie. Now if I'd have showed y'all this picture years ago when he grew up before there was ever that cross was made. You would you wouldn't you would have been calling him a buck. You would have been calling him the grand champion buck, looking like buck. But if you look at him now, a lot of people would call that macho buck. A lot of people would say that. But this is what we see today when we look at his Stone City Mayday dog, a up close one. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to put that up there and show you the, the genetics of what it looked like. If you look at Buck Rogers, yes, he does look like Macho Buck in those dogs. Well, he was definitely the indicator to let everybody know, y'all better grab some of that Stone City chicken and run the Mayday. Because that's exactly what they did when they seen this little litter of puppies right here. They seen them puppies right there. They went and, and, and put that beef down and made a hell of a breeding that y'all living on today. And to be honest, Black Ice had a lot of his jar. And when it came to Mayday and, and Stone City, he had his jar was tight. He had May T, he had all the right shit. He had all the right shit. And then that red baby, you gotta remember Little Buck and anything Yellow Buck and Miss Nico. Was that was Buck Rogers' daddy? Remember his that dog right there on that screen, his daddy was. A yellow buck Miss Nico dog. Sir Kell was a yellow buck Miss Nico dog. But anytime that they started crossing Mayday into those dogs, these were the kind of dogs you were getting. The very same kind of dog that you see right there that we bred when we bred Brat's brother's daughter to a son of a yellow buck Miss Nico. So Stone City, Stone City had some great dogs. They had great dogs, but you know the funny part about it? All of a sudden, you're looking at the pedigree, and you're wondering in your mind, where these black dogs coming from? <laughs> right, that black brindle shit? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like yeah, where did the dark brindle shit come from with Yellow Buck and Miss Nico? Because uh, Sir Kel was a black brindle. But uh, little Buck, but Roger's daddy was a black brindle. And he didn't have not one black brindle puppy in his litter. Every dog he had in his litter was red nose. They was red brindle. I saw, I got pictures of the litter mate brothers. They was red brindle. They was a little darker red than yellow Buck. Listen to me. You see that awesome baby bitch? Yeah. She could have threw a black brindle. If she was bred to maybe her half brother, because remember, yellow mother is double Jocko, and Jocko dogs come black, Brindle. Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I turn my but right. after, so many, after so many generations, after three generations, that shit is gone, bro. You bring into the same blood, 
Buck Dog buck himself only through his color. Buck don't throw no chocolate, dog. Not right back to his same stuff. That's what I'm telling you. The pattern of the dogs, some of the some this colorations mean a lot to me. I don't know about nobody else. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm breeding my shorty cowboy stuff, and all of a sudden I get a brindle dog. Hold the hell up here. Where the hell did this come from? Where did this come from? <laughs> because you don't see me. Where did where did it come from? Some genetics is, is like you taking a it's like Mr. Hollywood. All Mr. Hollywood dogs look alike. Why? It was off of Buck's sister. Them dogs became a family. Hmm. You take her, breed her back to a son. You take a, a half brother, half sister, breed her back, breed her back to the father. So all them dogs genetically look alike. You know, is is like uh like Pat Patrick. Pat Patrick had so many different line of dogs, but they all had that pigeon toe shit. Their toes was real small. Just like that dog I told you, Cherokee cheaper, cheap. I don't even know. That's how them dogs look. You know what I'm saying? They had nice structures, nice box head, but they had them little feet. You know what I'm saying? Real fast speed. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, it, 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 you just got to look at the dogs. When you start breeding the Mayday dogs, some dogs start coming longer. The yellow dogs bring long dogs. That's it. Had another dog named, uh, there's that dog name. Uh, Moon. Moon had a dog named Yellow Man. This was years ago. My God, this is like 30 something years ago. Down in North Carolina, I went to Boone House. But I went to everybody got there. And uh, he had a dog he was trying to save us off the yellow. You know what I'm saying? One of the best yellow dogs that produced, one of the best yellow dogs I ever seen. It was called Mims Bottom to a dog named uh, Top 10 Barney. And the dog name was what's his name? That was the dog name. What's his name? He got sold overseas for a lot of money. That was one of the best dogs I've ever seen. Hands down. Top ten on that dog. And that was a yellow dog. Another yellow dog name was uh dog name was schoolboy by uh what's that dude? what's that dude? Malik out in New York. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. So the yellow, the yellow stuff started came really caught my attention you know uh the toro i had the toro stuff before i had the yellow stuff and uh some dogs was dogs that they represent your name you know uh back in the back in the days it was your name you know what i'm saying when you when your name ring bell yeah yeah he ain't no joke you know what i'm saying that's that's how it was you know back then you remember the white body cars they had like like a lot of Audis with wide bodies, and you don't see them shits no more. You know, you had the BMW with a wide body kick. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had on the big rope gold chains. That's how it was back in the days, just like dogs, just like Mike Tyson. You have Mike Tyson dogs, you have Mayweather dogs. It was mm -hmm. different dogs. You know what I'm saying? So when two Mike Tyson go, and everybody want to see that event. You go sometimes back in the days, 200 people there. You know what I'm saying? People coming in mink coats, people coming in suits and ties. It was different. It was, it was, it was like it was love. You know, it was, it was, it, it was just different, man. It was like, man, what could you say? You know, uh, they got that IBM dog. He went to the Virgin Islands. He was a good dog. Mm -hmm. You know, I argue with a lot of people on that dog mother. They said, oh man, I'm telling you, that dog is his mother was wrong. I'm gonna tell you how he was brave. He had the right father. His father was who to say he was. But his mother was off a hardcore red man. When Sonny lost the, uh, uh, what's his name again? Oh, man. Uh, hardcore Mike. Hardcore Mike gave him a puppy. A female puppy off a red man. And that's his mother. They took the father and brothers to that. And that's what brought IBM. Wow. And people will never, and people will never understand that because most of them most of them Eli dogs they don't go top they go body they don't go top but IBM always went on top you see what I'm saying yellow dogs they always go on top they go all over but a lot of them go on top 
You know what I'm saying? They was they was like they it, it was like to me, I give David Tatt one of the best beaters of all times. Him and Ed Crenshaw. I give two of them the best of all times. Ed Crenshaw and David Tatt. You know what I'm saying? I know David Tan did a lot of bullshit, and, and don't take me wrong. But uh, no matter what happened, even if the dogs had 35 or 40%, they was good. That's the difference. The genetics make up on the dogs they didn't lie. That's why when you took Mayday, you bred Mayday to his bottom or his top, the dogs was good. But what happened with the people that had them dogs, they took them dogs and they messed them dogs up. The reason why they did it, all of a sudden, all them dogs come out red dogs. So what happened? You went towards the Hollywood side. You didn't go towards the the, the yellow side. Mm. See, when you have a dog, you you gotta you gotta level it out. You you just can't. Okay, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a good thing. Mayday Blondie. It was just, it was the same dogs. Mayday and Blondie was the same identical dogs. Right. It was, it was just a flip flop. Flip flop. That's right. That's all. That's all it was. So now when you take them dogs, what they brought them to? They ran, they ran and bent them to what? The Hollywood. Okay, so what you get? You, now you're going back to old, old man, Mr. Hollywood Yard. It was clumsy. It was big. It was big boned. It was, it, it was, it was, it was durable. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it was different. Now you take them and you cross it over to the yellow stuff. That's a whole different ball game. But see, a lot of yellow stuff, people then, people then, a lot of people ran after a while. So they got out of dogs. So when they did get back in the dogs, what they got? They got the red boy dogs. The red boy dogs is way different from the yellow dogs. If you if you had a pure yellow dog and a pure red boy dog, I'm going to fuck who the red boy dog offer. I'm going with the yellow stuff. Yeah. I don't that. I'm going with the yellow stuff because they was more durable. They was more smarter, they think. They had different styles. They had different looks. They was always more like, you know, when you walk in the dog, the yellow dog, you walk in the dog. That big see a cat, a rat, a, I don't give a shit what it see. Ah! That's oh all they my goodness. They you, still you, like that to this day. And we got some. But then, but then only a handful of people in the world got them. People say, oh man, them dogs come bushy tails. Them dog. I don't know about that. I've never seen that before. I can't tell you about something that I've never seen. I could tell you about something that I've seen. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So to me, it's like they all ran to the Hollywood side of the dogs. So then when you run to the Hollywood side of the dogs, back then, ain't nobody wanted them dogs. So yeah, they, yeah, they, 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 they nah, bro. So the yellow side, if you look at yellow resume, right? That was one of the best resumes in the world. If, if, if everybody can really think about it, you go to Tom Garner yard, you go to all these guys yard, what are, what are they dogs? Red boy, Chaco dogs. They maybe don't have that much Chaco on them no more, but they red boy dogs. It's a difference. You see what I'm saying? Because those was the superior dogs from back then. Tom Garner had a, a bitch on his yard. He bred that bitch a hundred times if he could. <laughs> a bitch called Peppermint Patty. But right. you're, not gonna see, you know, you're not gonna see that bitch in no pedigrees. That's where a lot of the chocolate dogs come from. But you're not gonna see that. Why? Because, oh man, this dog get this. Let me tell you, just like destroy it. Why destroy it came chocolate? And why his brother came red brindle, like the father? Black chocolate is black. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Chocolate is black. What did, oh man, destroy it and produce? He didn't, look, listen to me. It's not that he didn't produce, just like Jeep didn't produce, just like the only dog that produced with everything was yellow. Some dogs will produce better with certain dogs. It doesn't mean that the dog is bad. It just means that you didn't find the right dog for him to be bred to. I remember Sonny Penny bred a dog named JR. JR was off of Gertie the Batman. He bred him to a dude house dog off of Brewers. Brewers. No, let me see. No, no. It was some snooty stuff. And it brought BB. It brought uh, it brought a lot of a lot of great dogs. She was just a fucking house dog. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Certain things connect, and certain things don't. 
Look at look 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 at the uh look at the uh the vengeance the vengeance stuff. They crossed into a lot of stuff. It didn't work. Now they took uh what's his name again? Uh Max. What they bring Max to? Dawn of Triple A. Did it work? Yes, it did. Some dogs gonna work good, and some dogs are not. You understand what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you're still looking at a dog. That's the bottom line, and a lot of people will never understand that because they they don't they don't they don't understand the genetic makeup in a dog. You see what I'm saying? Right. You 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 take them you take them all them red boy dogs, all them red boy Chaco Mayday dogs. What what people got? What you do? You breed them to each other. So what you do? You got a pretty pedigree. But then what happened? You take the dog, his teeth fall out. He's too tight. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a structure. He dies young. His body is frail. Why? Because you you start you 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 stack him. You got to go out. If you don't go out, how you how you gonna ever have something that gonna live for thirteen years? I remember one time, uh, my man Brooklyn Knights took me to a house in in uh. Upstate, no, it was upstate, it was in Queens. And, uh, no, it was in Manhattan. It was one of them tall ass buildings. Yo, we seen two kids a buck. Them dogs were 17, 18 years old. And them dogs looked like they was five years old. That's right. Some dogs will live longer than others, but the Hollywood dogs doesn't live long. Why? They always get cancer. That's how old man Hollywood died. People don't even know the real story, how he died. He was sick. He used to take that shit and, and wipe it on the dogs and it got in his 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 uh he got in his bloodstream and he got cancer. He was sick for a long time. So the first set of dogs went to, to Tom Garner. I got pictures with them dogs on Tom Yard in nineteen ninety. Peppermint Patty, then boom, old man Hollywood got them. I mean uh Ed Farron had them dogs. That's why I told you the puppy was born there. And people will never understand that. People, oh man, I read a book, and I don't give a shit about no book, bro. My eyes don't lie. So it's like this: Where did Gary get bull from? At Farron Yard, I mean, or Wild Side Yard. He didn't get them dogs from at Farron. Where did Dolly come from? All those dogs at Farron was selling for Mister Hollywood's wife, cause he was sick. And they came and picked them dogs up. So I had a chance to buy Bull, Dolly, Polly, Red Pirate. I could have bought all them dogs. And them dogs were for $800. Back then, puppies were selling for friggin' what, $300? Is the years changed over? And that's when them dogs start going for, for way more money. I bought dogs off a, 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 a son of La Posse Buster, $150. You know what I'm saying? You go to the gas station, you see some of them, them little, uh, them little newspaper, not newspaper, like a little booklet. Uh, they might have trailers, lawnmowers. Then they got pit bull puppies for sale. You go, you go. I used to call them. Yo, I found many great dogs for that hundred fifty, two hundred dollars. It's a different. The first dog I ever paid a lot of money for, and it hurt my feelings because Fat Bill said he was a cur, was Lever Red Junior. To Gardner Blaze. Gardner Blaze was a, a sister to Game Jane. She was double child man to his daughter. I bought that dog in 1990. You see what I'm saying? So it's like this. It was always a secret. You know, that's why I like what I like. I like what I know. I don't care about none of them other shits, bro. I don't, because you don't know for sure what it is. What's the paperwork? To say I got a paperwork, being honest. You know what I'm saying? Back then, niggas didn't give a shit about that. You know what I'm saying? Pedigree Online came with in 2000. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We could talk about May Day. Shit. We got time. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow, not promised to no man. You know what I'm saying? But right now, it is. May Day was spread to his mother. May Day was... Now, listen to me real good. I don't know the exact date, but I will tell you. Around that time. May Day... Mother had to be at least four years old, four to five years old. She was a sister to both. Different father, the same mother, Lady and Ray. Okay? So I think he was born in 85, some shit like that. So she maybe was born in 86. I don't know. But we're going to give and take. Okay? So from 85, from, 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 from 85 to 90, 
86 to 90, that's four years. Four years, Mayday was born. She was four years old. She was bred back to her son in 1996. How old would she be? Over 10. About 10 years old. Yeah. She's about 10 years old. Okay. So in that breeding to her, to her son, he was fertile. He threw a lot of dogs at that time, but she was old. How many puppies did she have when she was bred to Mayday? Her son, she had three puppies. Okay. She had a she had one male and two bitches. The two bitches had a lot of white on them. They had white heads. They had white on them. So that's in 1996. So I'm going to ask you a question. If she's 10 years old in 1996, they made other breeders made it to his mother. And you had litters of four, litters of five, litters of six. Yo, bro, how old, was she, how old she would have been? So it's like this. You start off with something so great, but eventually... A lot of different obstacles took over. Took over. You see what I'm saying? Right. So that's why the Mayday line of dogs will always be remembered for greatness, but a lot of people never had luck with them. Why? Because there wasn't there wasn't Mayday dogs. Right. Hey, you, think, you think you got something, but you really did. Hey, you by the way, saying? yeah, hold on for a minute, bro. Lloyd Taylor, you was right. That is, that is a picture of Yellow Buck. I mean, uh, Yellow Day. That's Buck Rogers and Bebe, Little May brother. He was a bad motherfucker. They stole. That's the one they stole. They didn't steal a little yellow, a uh, little Buck. I mean, uh, Buck Rogers or Bebe, and he was right. They were right yeah. next to him. No, they stole him because he was probably the one out there acting a damn fool. But yeah, that is Buck Rogers and them Little May brother. As you see, he's a red brindle dog. The whole litter was red nose except for one, and it was his name was D Day. And D Day got caught in the stifle by Buck Rogers when he was a puppy and got his ass tore out. He had a big ass hole in his right there in his in his hind end in his back, and he could never walk well after that. So we we gave him to some people that didn't do nothing with the dogs. We gave him a good home. I heard he got he he grew old. And then nobody ever breed him. So he was the only, he looked like Miss Nico. All the rest of them was that color right there. I got another picture of Bucko. And Bucko was that red brindle, just like yellow butt. But as you notice, he was a little darker than yellow butt. He was more like a butt color. Grand type of butt color, but dark brindle, probably almost like awesome baby. If you're right, Mr. Lloyd Taylor, you was right. It, 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 that's a picture of Yellow Buck. I mean, uh, Yellow Day. All right, big bro, I, I had to do a picture up there while you was talking, you know. I'm just throwing pictures up while you're talking. So I don't be stuck on the screen. Go ahead, baby boy. I mean, hey, now here's my question. While you was talking about those, those crosses, what about Nary Egan then? What do you think? You know, you know that we, we can run off a lot of dogs between what Mayday was throwing before he went to Ecuador. Now, would you say the consistency of the dogs that was done in the United States off of Mayday changed drastically? But yes. yet he sold more dogs off of Mayday once he got over there Ecuador, but the numbers was nothing in comparison to the Mayday dogs that was being born here on the state. Yes. Yes. Can you elaborate on that and let these guys? Because when I, I when I tell them that, then you know the question comes up. Well, what about Brat? When she went to Port, she went to Ecuador with Victor. Well, I always tell them I, I don't know what. Uh, I can't tell you she only had four puppies. When we bred it back to Mayday, it took. Yeah, I'm gonna tell. Twin, I'm gonna tell you this right now. They got somebody out there, they, they got a gold mine. And if they know what they got, <coughs> they will be so proud of themselves. Mm -hmm. Captain America had a dog named Goldfinger. It was off the of yellow. He had him on ice. 
and somebody got that semen out there, whole finger on ice. That was a hell of a dog, gold finger. I think he was yellow back to his daughter, some shit like that. Had him on ice. I try to locate all the good yellow dogs. They had another dog named Banjo. He was off a hardcore chance to, I think, was felony. You know what I'm saying? Felony was off a of yellow again. But, uh, yo, that dog was bred maybe four times. If that, four, say five times. We're going to just give it five times. And, he produced he produced his ass off. You know, uh you 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 have a lot of that's why some semen is so expensive today and some semen are not. You know, uh a good yellow shit. It's just like David Tan, he home, he got dogs, you know, but he don't got that shit he used to have. You know what I'm saying? Go back and pay for it. Go back and pay your money and get some of your shit back. You know what I'm saying? That's what you was known for, the yellow dogs. You don't have no Jeep dogs, no other dogs in your yard. You're supposed to know what you have, what you had. You know what I'm saying? You might have given maybe 50% of it, or so what? Just just keep trying to inbreed it, knowing you got the other 50. And just take your color pattern and run with it. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Some people just, they, they don't know how to do that. You know? Uh, but... Like I said, them dogs back in them days, all of them yellow. Well, the yellow dogs took the wave. I'm going to tell you that right now. And you know something? Uh, sitting out talking to a young fella the other day, and he, he started talking about Europe. And them dogs is coming back to the United States. That's what I heard. I really don't know, but that's what I heard. But uh, them dogs basically got ran out of here back in the 90s. Really? They got ran out. You know, uh, now they're coming back. Why? Because she doesn't have, he doesn't have, people doesn't hold on to nothing anymore. If it doesn't ring a bell, they're not going to hold on to it. They're not going to feed it. You go in a man's yard, he's not going to have an old dog. You know what I'm saying? Because the dog means nothing. The way society have it is, oh man, this is it. Nah, bro. If you love something, you love it from your heart. You just don't love things in time. And people never understand the situations happened, you know. Say happened to all of us, you know. Some of us have good times, bad times, you know. Say, but everybody in this world that have good times, they try to hold on to their good times because when they sad, that good time comes in in their memory and they smile and they forget about the bad times that they have. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people that had good dogs, yo, okay, you have you had a good dog. Show me your grandson and your dog kid, and I respect that. But if you can't show me that, what you gonna say? You know what I'm saying? It's 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 it's, it's different. You know, it's it's it's, it's different. You know, sometimes I look at dogs like I can't say look at my kids because I love my kids, but I look at my dogs as like my family. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I don't give a fuck if it's raining, snowstorm, them bitches coming inside. That's me. I can't speak for the next man. You know what I'm saying? Because I know once that's gone, it's gone. You'll never get it back. Somebody could say, oh, man, I got this back. I've seen a lot of old times. Oh, man, I still got this. I still... You know, where, you, where you getting at? You can't show me a picture in three generations of none of them dogs. You can't show me a picture, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then when you do show me a picture, the dogs don't even look alike. Dogs don't even act alike. When you get time, my dog, those are some of the most destructive fucking dogs. You know what I'm saying? You get a term, you know you have a term, my dog. That's why the dog name was Termite. Them dogs will eat dog houses. Them dogs will fuck up your yard, make big holes in your yard. That's with those dogs. You know what I'm saying? That's why that dog had that name. You know, uh, you had the, uh, the snooty dog. Snooty dogs was nice dogs. Don't take me wrong, but what uh, Snake Man said, it was the truth. You had to breed them. And what did you breed them to? Booty scent dogs. That's why to this day, when you take the old gator stuff and you cross it over to uh, the spike stuff, you bring better dogs. Why? Because they're different dogs. They pedigrees. One of their pedigrees is just a lie. <laughs> That's all it is. 
Hey, I got a young man out of, my man Good Stark said he had a double gold finger hound out of Virginia and they was the shit. He had a double what? Gold finger hound out of Virginia. He had gold finger sperm? No, he had uh, a gold finger dog. Yeah, let me tell you something. I remember old man Feeney. You know what I'm saying? We went up to Vini house one day. Uh, we, we got up there like five in the morning. We drove up there and we, we stayed like five in the morning. Uh, he took us to breakfast. We went to the farmer house. Farmer, the farmer had chickens and shit. Yeah, we went to SDP. Well, we always at SDP house. And uh, it, it, it was really, really nice, man. You know, I remember that time. SDP gave me a son of Buck and Queen of Hearts. Yeah. He was cold. You know what I'm saying? I don't lie on dogs. I just keep it real honest. He was cold. I led him to a guy named Desmond from Cherry Hill, North Carolina. Head on kennel. He fucked her. He fucked me over and sold the dog to Tom Rattler. Yeah. He had a dog named Brick. He was he was a pure Patrick dog. The same color like chocolate color from Pat Patrick. You know. Pat Patrick's dogs was good dogs. Don't take me wrong, but it was better off cross. It was better off cross to the Eli stuff. And see everybody think that Boyles is Boyles. Boyles is just a bold dog cross to Eli dog. That's all it is. So some dog people did that cross. That don't mean that it was Ronald Boyles did that cross. You know what I'm saying? I seen uh Black Bumpfish. You know, you you talk about 30 something years ago, you know. Uh that's how it was, you know. It, it, it just had it just had its time, you know. Rascal quit. He had a grandson named Money from TKO Kennel. You know what I'm saying? Uh he was he was he was, he was a game dog. He was a game dog. Uh just different, different events, you know. Just different events, different, different, you know what I'm saying? The Sorrell dogs. I remember Benny. Benny, I can never forget Benny. I haven't heard from Benny in maybe what 27 years, you know, uh, maybe longer than that. Uh, Benny, we went up to Ohio and we had got a, a kingfish dog. The dude, the dude had lost and sold Benny. He said, he's broke. Take this dog. Just give me some money. Give me $300, you know, and, uh, gave him the dog. $300. Benny came home, dude, gave him a bitch off a of Sorrell sailor. And Benny said, shit, I'm going to breed these motherfuckers, sell these puppies for $300. And that's what Benny did. And that whole litter came around. Benny from Dynasty Kennel. I haven't heard from that man in a long time, but Benny was a good friend of mine. He used to, he used to be with, uh, he used to deal a lot with uh, that man, uh, that own croc, uh, St. Benedict. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 back then, it was, it was like, I don't even know what to say, bro. It was good times, you know. Back then, you can lie on a pedigree, bro. If that dog came with that pedigree, that's what it was. You got to keep that same shit. Don't lie on that pedigree, you know. I don't care what, what happened to the dog. Dog could have been a reindeer. I don't care. Dog could have been an airplane. Don't matter. If that's the way the dog bred, that's the way the dog bred. But then you start seeing different colors in the dogs and and that's why me and a lot of people, we, we, we don't get into arguments, but I tell them, yo, how the fuck that dog will be? You cannot have a buck yellow dog and it's come black. I don't care what you say. Once it, it, in, in the first form of that dog put together, you could get a dog color brindle because of the Jocko in yellow. But afterwards, Three generations, you're not gonna get no black brindle dog. You're not gonna put that sh that's not gonna come up. It's not gonna because you already you already put the bodio, the tombstone, the buck in it, and the buck doesn't throw no other color dog but itself. That's it. Hey y'all, that's a picture of Buck Rogers being bred to Sarah Kelly, in case y'all didn't know that. We didn't have no puppies. We didn't have no puppies. But Rogers had one litter, and that was that was uh, right after these breedings was made shortly after he won number two. 
and I bred him to Sir Kel, and I bred him to the shit. I got another breeding with him with the shit. And I think when we bred him, we was too close to his, you know, you know, he hadn't been out of the, you know, his show two months. And I tried to breed him. I don't think his sperm count was up. Because, you know, we do have him on roids. You know, that's probably why Brat didn't have a lot of litters. You know, that's probably why he didn't have his litters that he didn't take. You know what I'm saying? So I think and that's why, and that's why Mayday didn't have baby litters. Because of the same thing. Once you start to use roids, the count drop. Drastically. Okay, it drops. It takes away the fertility in the dog. He might just like okay, we're gonna say we're gonna we're gonna be truthful on here, just like Buckets. Buckets only had one litter, that was lefty litter. That was a big litter. I think it was about seven or eight. Yeah, the lefty breeding, yeah. That's right. But everything Buckets was ever bred to. No. It's a lot. Three puppies, four puppies, two puppies, buckets. That's right. So when people sit down and talk, nah. No, oh, no, 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 no. A guy asked me the other day, he said, uh, why don't you have any of the old blood? I said, I got rid of it. And why? I said, because it had a little tweak in the pedigree that I didn't like. And he said, what's the tweak? If you look at uh Sine Dawn and Grand Champion Alpha, and you look at his grandmother, I bred his grandmother. Okay, uh what's what's her, what's her name? Uh what the f that dog thing was. It was Macho Bear, Macho Bear mother, Macho Man mother. And she was my personal dog and she was she was uh she was cold. But we had bred a, a daughter of, uh, I think it was Grand Champion Hellbent, to uh, Buckus. And when the pictures came back, I know Buckus. Buckus was in, uh, Buckus had got sold to a guy in Tennessee. And Buckus was a little dog. And the bitch was a little bitch. But the man was way bigger than her in the picture. And when the dogs came, it was like 11 puppies. And it maybe was a son of Buckets, maybe a double breast son of I have no idea. But anything that's in that pedigree that I don't like, I'm not going to keep it. They turn out to be good dogs. The mother was a good dog. We bred her the Barracuda. And uh, them dogs like this will make history. So all them Puma dogs, all that shit come down. My dogs is in them dogs. All of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, any discrepancy in that pedigree, I look at them dogs funny. They, 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 they good dogs. Now, don't take me wrong. But they not like no Buck Rogers. They not like no Mayday. They not like no yellow buck. They not like you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They 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 just they just dare to be there. You know what I'm saying? It is like, nah. You know, uh I remember one time they had a uh what the dog name was? Oh shit. What the hell that dog name was? I think his name was Dragon. Yeah, Dragon, yeah. Yeah, he was a good dog, man. He was, yeah, let me tell you something. I could, I, I, I could name all the great dogs around. I remember one time we went out to, uh, we went out to North Carolina, the whole of Jersey, it was about maybe 15 of us. We went out to uh, North Carolina. We had a bitch named Kitty. Second to none had that bitch. And that was a bad, that was grand champion Buster Brown, little my sister. And we all went down there and, uh, we went out to, uh, we went into a bitch called, uh, Black girl from Gall Gall no no not Gall McDaniel uh what that man name is he still I think he's still around uh 
Banshee at Mullen. At Mullen. Yo, let me tell you something. That's the first time I ever seen a buck dog get beat. Yes. That Ed Mullen bitch called Banshee. She was a bad bitch. She was a bad bitch. Now, one of the best producing bitches in the world was a bitch called uh, Dirty Jersey. She was a producing ass bitch. She was off of the thing called the Buster Brown. You know, uh, I had a grandson of Buster Brown. They had read Buster Brown to, uh, what's, what's that bitch name? Miss Leakey. Mm-hmm. Called, uh, when old man Marshall he went down to uh, Gaston house and beat Gaston. And one of them made a nasty comment. He was like, yo, let me get the water to, to wipe this bitch off. He was like, no, all you niggas got to get out of my yard. And uh, on the way out of the yard, they took Miss Leakey. And they sent her straight to Jersey to breed the grand champion Buster Brown. And the dog name was, uh, she had a Ryback. It was a dog named Ryback. You know what I'm saying? But they were so funny bringing right back to people. You know what I'm saying? I ain't bring it to right back. Uh, now I got to bring to all them dogs. You know? You know what I'm saying? I come with money. Oh, I don't have to have money. They gonna let me bring to their dogs. Because if you're a man of your word, you're a man of your word. You piece of shit, you piece of shit. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And that's that's the bottom line. Man, I'll send you the money. Let me bring to the dog. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me go with this dog right here. I send you the money when I get home. And that's how I got a lot of my dogs. Because my word was my bond, my honesty, you know. Uh, but that kitty bitch, that old mountain man stuff, that crocomo stuff, it was different dogs. They, they, they was just different dogs, you know. I heard uh, old man Harry Hargrove. I remember when I went to his house. He was getting, he was getting uh, money orders. Money orders from overseas. He was getting, he was getting like uh, uh, the next day delivery with cash, take with with with, with scotch tape, tons of yes. cash for dogs. And truth and honestly, that's a real dog man. Yeah. So that dude in part, that man had dogs all the way till he come, till he come take care of himself. Mm-hmm. You know, say people don't understand when you love something, you love it. You know. Uh, that's the truth. So it's like everything has its time, you know. My kids, they don't like dogs. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They don't like dogs. They'll they'll feed the dog if I ask them to. But all the time, my son, uh, he got one dog here. I say I'll take care of it for him, but that's his dog. But he don't, he, he's just not into dogs. Daddy, I want a dog. I feed all these dogs. Well, go ahead, take a dog. You know what I'm saying? So that dog will be around till she dies. That's his dog. And she's very good, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but when I close my eyes, that's it. Whoever get dogs from me in life, they'll be happy. But that's it. There'll be no generation no third generation or no second generation with these dogs. It's just that I grew up in a time, seven years old. That was my best friend. You know, you go walking, you got a little pit bull. You know? So, like I say, good times gonna stick with you. Bad times will not. When you have bad times, you think of the good times. So sometimes we hold on to something in this world that uh that. That we just hold on to it, man. We just hold on to it. We just try to hold on to the good times and the memories, you know. And that's it. But uh, back then, boy, that was that shit, boy. It, it, it was that boy. I remember niggas getting out of wide body cars with their dogs. I remember one time we going out to uh, we going out to uh, North Carolina. It was me, Zon, Smitty God. And a dude named Slop 318 10. And Smitty guy wanted to use the bathroom and pissed on all of us in the fucking car. Yo, that's <laughs> yo, he said we was all so mad for Smitty guy. Smitty guy was a cool fucking dude, but he was he was he was sick, you know what I'm saying? He was big, but he was sick, you know. And he always peed. You know, always wanted to pee, you know, he had sugar or whatever. He ended up dying too. But uh, 
Yo, I can never forget that shit. All of us end up a fucking piss on us, bro. We was mad as hell. Speedy guy, what the fuck? I'm saying, because you try to pee in a bottle and the, the whole shit just blew up. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I was cracking up. Yo, to this day, I tell my man about that shit. I was like, yo, bro, you remember that shit? He was like, yo, that shit was crazy. You know what I'm saying? But we all, we all, we all travel. We all travel. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And people believe that a dog don't have feelings. Some dogs are real smart. Yo, listen, I'm going to tell you this story right now. Matt Boy, Dog Boy Matt. That's the one that bred Morocco. That's the one that bred, uh, uh, that he bred a lot of great dogs. Young, young dude. You know what I'm saying? His father was a doctor. His mother was maybe a nurse or whatever. And, uh, he was a cool dude. So one day we went to his house. He had a bunch of dogs. He's the one that had all them termite dogs. He bought all them termite dogs from a guy named, not very pal. Perry had, had a partner, I forgot his name. He was a white dude, uh, Ralph. And uh, went down to him. So I'm sitting down on the couch, watching TV. We waiting to go to a party. This big head fucking dog come right in front of me and looked at me. That was bamboo, catching right bamboo. So the first thing I did to ease my hands down and grab my balls. I don't fuck around, bro. I grabbed my nuts. I was like, yo, get this motherfucker, bro. He was like, yo, you in this fucking chair. You want to watch TV? I was like, man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. That dog don't watch TV. Yo, I got out this chair. This motherfucker jumped in his chair and started watching the TV like a fucking human. That was the first time I have ever seen some shit like this. Then about two hours later, he went through the back door with 20 dogs in the yard and moving his ass in for the dog's door and dog trying to kill him. I was like, what the fuck is this? He said, that's the man of the yard. I said, yo, that motherfucker, what? I'll tell you this, no lie. That was one of the best dogs I've ever seen again. And I bought a son off of him. I paid a lot of money for him too. Because when it was a handful of them dogs, it was Champion Mike. You know what I'm saying? That's in uh, Diego's pedigree. It was Champion Mike. It was Pop Pop. It was Slick Kid. It was Bam. Yo, it, it, it was only a hand. It was it was Google Mother. It, it was just a handful of dogs here. Because he, he was only better about four or five times and he died. And then all them kids turn around and produce and produce and produce. You know, look at the... Uh, Look at the uh that dog of the year. What's his name? Uh, T Trey. What he produced for? He brought it back to all this other stuff. Yeah, they, it was nice. But when they put, when they brought him to the to the buck stuff, it was finesse. It was everything that you everything. The, the dogs was long. It was beautiful. There was there was there was there was good companion to man. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't. It wasn't. They, it wasn't tearing up your house. It was just good dogs. You see what I'm saying? So that blood right there, that genetic makeup of them bamboo dogs, those good dogs. You know what I'm saying? A man only could talk about what he had. A man can't, you can't ask me about a rascal dog. You can't ask me, Blackjack had a brother. His name was uh, Hatchet. Mm-hmm. Okay, it was, his name was Hatchet. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think he was off the cage. That dog was my motherfucking cage. Okay? That dog was off the big case. You know what I'm saying? Just look at the dogs. Some people know, but just look at the dogs. Color patterns and patterns and and feet and toenails and eyes. That doesn't lie. It's right there in your face. Just look at the dog. You know? Uh, and when you start inbreeding the dogs, only one thing can happen. Two things, three things can happen. Their body going to get weak. The structure gonna change. Man, I remember back in the days, uh, old man, uh, John, fancy boy John, had a partner name with John also. And uh, he had some Hensel dogs. Shit. Dude, dude from the Caribbean named Chawaki and Slim out of Plainfield. One, one of the dogs' name was Worst Time and the other one name was Hard Time. It was from an island named St. Croix, but they had lived in Plainfield, Jersey. And you talk about good dogs, shit. It was it was real good dogs, man. 
It was really the dogs, really the dogs. But when the termite yellow folio came on the scene, it was over. It was over. If, any, if everybody just look at the dogs from back in the days, which dogs was the highlight and which dogs wasn't. Jeep dogs, they just start coming back. Remember the last Jeep, the last good Jeep dog that was around. Now he wasn't off no Jeep, but he was he, he had Jeep in him. You know, that was Tab. Tab made some noise after Tab. What, what, what was it after Tab? There was nothing else. Why? Think about it. There was nothing else. Rascal, all that shit gone. So now when you're trying to find out what you do, you go back to the low gator stuff. And that's where it comes in. You know, you want you want a little gator dog? Go to Mexico. When you go to Mexico, you get a little gator dog because all of them look alike. You know what I'm saying? I could just throw a pedigree on you and tell you that dog is a little gator dog, that dog over there. They all look alike. Why? Because they, it's like this. When you go to Rome, you do what Rome do. What Rome do. It's like this. You live in uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey. We had buck yellow dogs. This is back in the 80s. We had buck yellow dogs. That area go have buck yellow dogs. I make a breed, I get five puppies, 10 puppies. My, my people's gonna get them dogs. And they gonna breed them the way they wanna breed them. But they always gonna come back home with their kids. So they gonna be 75% buck yellow. So all them dogs will have the same characteristics. Now you go to a place called Plainfield. They get an Eli, they, they had a lot of boiled dogs over there. Lamont, Canard, uh, uh, Eddie Spivey, uh, yo, they, 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 they all had buck boiled dogs. Now you go to Newark, what you get? You get balls. <coughs> you go to New York, what you get? Termite, Midnight Cowboy. You see what I'm saying? So it 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 is 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 what area you in? That's the family of dogs that you have. You go to North, what you get? You get what's that dog name? Grand Champion, Awesome Beast. Cross the what? Punky. I had punk. I had a dog off of Punk. She was all folks. She was a termite bitch. She was a champ champion punk. So uh, Awesome Beast. No, those dogs stayed in that area. Because that's his people. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I could go anywhere and get a dog. It was it was it was different. People just used to give me dogs. So it's like with you, you go to you, what you had, you had all the Mayday blind, the yellow buck buck dogs. But what you did, back then we didn't sell our dogs. We gave our dogs to our friend. And that's what happened. So in every area have different dogs. I have a twist, maybe a quarter of this or a quarter of that, but it doesn't, it doesn't have it like that anymore. Not to my knowledge. You go, you look for, 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 for midnight dog, but you find, you only find vengeance. You don't find nothing else. You see what I'm saying? You, 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 you want a good, uh, a Jeep dog. So you go to Hardway. And you go to a dude named Casino. Casino's another dude. He brought to seven sons of Jeep, but he a black dude. He never get no credit for that. And his old people know that he brought to seven sons of Jeep. But the casino get credit for it? Nah. You would rather pass him and go down and breach to some bulls, just like old man Mason. Mason smiled. He told me the same thing. He said they will pass me and breach to something else as soon as I give that dog to somebody else. Everybody wants to breed to him. And that's the most hurtful shit that I have ever seen. Because in my time, Jersey, we all stuck together. And that's that that's where time changes. You know, say everything changed in time. You know, you'd rather go somewhere else. Back then, nah, we're gonna make our own shit happen here. We're not doing that bullshit, bro. You got a good one? Shit, we going out south. Yeah, which twin ass that? We gonna call twin out. Yeah, we gonna kill Brad. That's how it was back then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's our shit. 
You know what I'm saying? We didn't, we, we, we didn't, we didn't put nobody up. That's why to this day, I don't want nobody dogs. I like my own dog. My own dog. I had my own dog for the, for the for so many years. I just want my own shit. I'll take something out of quarter. But I just, you know what I'm saying? I don't have many dogs like I used to. You know what I'm saying? But I still I still got my dogs. Because I love them. You know? That's it. Sometimes you have sad days. You go pick a dog and walk a dog. You know what I'm saying? My knees, my knees, I'm getting old now. My knees starting to hurt a lot, but. You know what I'm saying? I still go out and walk a dog for 10, 20 minutes. That's basically it, you know. That's it. But uh the young the young guys with the dogs, the first thing they need to have for themselves, they need to have some kind of dignity, bro. You know what I'm saying? Dignity, have some dignity, have be a man of your word, you know. You don't have to lie. You don't have to lie to feel like you're somebody. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to lie. Be truthful if a man Sell you a dog, pay that man. If a man put a dog in your hand, for you to give to somebody, don't steal that dog. You know what I'm saying? I hear so much shit that people does, and then you wonder and you ask yourself, yo, is this shit real or is this shit a joke? There's no loyalty. No more. It's just like people just be a piece of shit. And when I tell people that people get mad, but it be the truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to bash nobody, but I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? If we if we sit down, it's like we sit down and we just be honest with ourselves, the world be a better world. But a lot of us can't be honest with ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Come on. It's like it's like I'm in my I'm in my fifties. But I'm doing shit that I was doing when I was twenty years old. That don't make no sense. Everything has its time, everything passed on. So that's just the truth. And that's it. You know, twin, you had a you had a good run. You know, so a lot of us had a good run, you know. Mm-hmm. It was fun though. Yeah, it was it was it was it was it was real fun. Real fun, bro. It was good times. Well, I see you know. Fun. You know, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. You know, I'm trying to catch this before we know. The last time you was on the show, we was out here at two thirty in the morning. You know that, right? <laughs> and they got Bro. mad. They got and they got mad then when we cut the show. So <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm, I'm being touchy with you tonight because I'm I'm still looking at them, and you notice Shark Tank still on thick. Everybody still everybody on still it. hanging around, and I know if I let you go, we 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 finna be into another day. <laughs> Definitely, bro. Well, you know, you know something. Like I said, twin. Sometimes you call me. We still on the phone three, four hours talking about. Oh dogs, my God! About, don't we though? Don't yeah. we though? That you know what I'm saying? We talk about dogs. People like you for real. Say hell yeah. You know, uh, you know, no dog better than the other. No dog better. Than every every line of dog have a good dog. You know what I'm saying? I learned that. You know what I'm saying? Even even listen to me. I watch a dude take. Uh, uh, a seventy-five percent pit bull with a quarter bull terrier, and breed it to a a a hundred percent pit bull. It's got a champion. You see what I'm saying? Back in the days, people, yo, know, it's the love that you give, the attention that you give. You know what I'm saying? A real dog man will feed his dog before he feed himself. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You know what I'm saying? If I'm hungry and my dog comes, we gonna spit that food. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I I yeah. got a question for you, man. Dang. That 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 uh that that is that genetic disease that uh that um them dogs had is that how they you know made what? is that how they made the bullies? I'll be honest with you. I seen great pit bulls about thirty years ago in a yard in the Bronx, and uh. I don't know where that shit come from, bro. I don't know what they made it in the lab, but back in the days when I was young, when I was about 12 years old, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I did see a great pit bull. You know what I'm saying? That's over 40 years ago. I did see a great pit bull. You know what I'm saying? But it had white in it. It was gray and white. But in New Brunswick, I seen a pure gray pit bull, but it was it was a regular sized dog. Now, all of a sudden, you see these dogs with these little legs. So, I don't, listen to me, all them dogs just crossed up. 
all of now you got a dog look like the same color as a fucking uh, cheetah with yeah. the spots and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yo, but think about it. If it's made in a lab, it's not really healthy. A, a, a natural living creature supposed to live for at least 12 to 15 years, some dogs don't live that long. You know, they, they really don't. No, they know? don't. They don't. The bullies do not live that long. Oh, yo. They got a lot of skin problems. My son had my son had one. My wife had one. Some dogs come with skin problems. You feed them motherfuckers dog food, them bitch break out with eyes and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? I just look at them motherfuckers and be like, yo, man, shit. <laughs> just don't let them bitches go in my yard. That's all I be saying. You know what I'm saying? Them bitches can't even go up the stairs, bro. So I don't understand what makes them dogs, you know, what makes them dogs so valuable? What, what, is, what is it? The head? The, what is it? They don't live long. So how could they be your companion? You know what I'm saying? You 50 years old, you get one of them dogs. Before you 60, them bitches day. Come on. No. Well, I guess it's just, I guess the world changing, so I might not look at it like that, but it is what it is. Well, Ice, before you get up out of here, man, look, you know, I was talking about shutting the show down, you know, and calling it quits and everything, right? And you know, I yes, usually sir. at the end of the show, I tell them to give me the roses and the thumbs up and everything, right? These motherfuckers, they done started throwing the roses and the thumbs up and every damn thing. <laughs> I ain't even called for it yet. The man, I'm talking about letting you go, man. They talking about, hold on, we just getting started. <laughs> but I want you to give me a, I need you to help me out here, bro. I mean, and I know I'm asking a little much here, but I just want you to go ahead and, and shout out to the Shark Tank and all our listeners. Give them something to, to inspire them to love and, and show that appreciation that we have tried to show and that you're trying to show today. Well, I, I, I'll say this right now. If you love something, love it. Just don't love something because of money. Love it because you have a passion for it. You know what I'm saying? Just love it. You know what I'm saying? You have a dog without a dog house. I mean, you don't have a passion for it because you go when you sleep in your bed every night. You sleep in an AC bed, nice sheets, but your dog out there with no dog house. Your dog skinny, your dog has no food. If you don't have no food and you want to stop go hunting, that's all you got to do. Feed your dog. You know, dog is my best friend. And I'm a man, and I had many women in my life. And I'll tell you this right now. They'll all kick you to the fucking curb one day. But them fucking dogs, they ain't going nowhere. nowhere. Oh, right. yeah, dumb right. motherfucker, you turn around, you kick that, get off of me. Dumb bitches stay wagging their tail. Hey, daddy, how you doing? How was your day? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> you know hey, yeah. Ain't that the truth? You go up in that house, bitch, the rent is due. Bitch, you, you pay the light bill. Oh, man, I forgot. Oh, yeah, you ain't getting no pussy tonight, nigga. That's how that shit go, bro. Right. You know what I mean? But no matter what, your dog always going to welcome you home. That's the truth. You know what I'm saying? It is the truth. And, and, and people that have dogs, only one thing I can tell them, if you're going to love your dog, love your dog. If you ain't going to love the dog, don't have the dog. You know what I'm saying? I'll be on, after all these years, right, I'm feeding my dog, buying dog food. That shit is garbage. All that fucking dog food, that bitch is garbage. I changed the raw. That bitch, man, my dog looks so fucking good right now. Yo, I've been feeding raw for a while, and believe it or not, it's way better than dog food. And cheaper. You get them yes. quarter legs, you get them damn boxes way with better. quarter legs, man, shit. That Yo, come in hand. Them dogs, them dogs only shit like three, four pebbles and that's it. I'll be like, what the fuck? I've been missing all these years. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the dogs look way better. You just True. gotta worm every two months. Just worm your dogs. That's it. Bage your dog. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I, I believe I believe in this, right? The way you take care of yourself is the way you take care of your dog. 
You know what I'm saying? If you have a dog and you love, you have that dog from a puppy, that dog born in, your, born in your house. That dog is part of you. Love that dog. Don't abuse that dog. If that dog ain't serving you no purpose, give it away. Give it to a friend. You know what I'm saying? Come on. I see a lot of people just take dogs, don't like the dog, kill the dog. Nah, bro. I give it away. Why? Because anything that's born that can breed is a life. And that's the bottom line. A lot of people never understand that. You know what I'm saying? I might, I might, I might have a brother. My brother ain't no fighter. I might be the fighter. I might have another brother. He ain't no fighter. But he a computer expert. Yo, all of us have different, all, all of us have different paths that we got to go through. Ain't everything going to always be good. Everything, all them animals is skins and bones just like us. And that's the bottom line. And if you never get bit by a dog, you ain't no fucking dog, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got bit so many fucking times, bro. Mm -hmm. Listen to me, man. Oh, my God. I got bit like... Yeah, let me tell you something. I got bit like five times from dogs. That's why I don't like people dogs. That bitch look, looking at me too funny, I'm getting the fuck out of the way. That's all I got to say. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of Eli dogs, all man biters. Termite dogs, all man biters. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's just it's just funny, bro. It's just funny. Just sitting back thinking about that shit. I just grew up in that time that all I had ever known was dogs. And my kids always say to daddy, all you do, you just feed and walk this dog. That's all you do. I don't even know how it is to go away for a month. I don't even know how it is to go away for, for a fucking week. Why? Oh man, my dog, my dog ate. My dog ate. So it's 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 just a it's just it's just it's a life. That's all it is. Some people will never understand that. You know what I'm saying? You pay somebody to feed your dog, but believe me, when you don't feed your dog yourself, that vacation you want, you gonna have your fucking moment. <laughs> Damn, my fucking dog. Hey, yo, take a picture of you feeding the dog. Right. Yo, yeah. Yo, right. take a picture. I got cameras. I got cameras. I, I want to see the motion shit come on every day. If that motherfucker ain't buzzing on, goddamn, I'm calling. Where you at? Yo, so now I you buy a whole bag of dog food. You come back that fuck. You spend a whole week. And you know the whole week your dog food is done. You come back that big still a half a dog food. You be like, motherfucker, I'm not paying you. You ain't feed my dog. I told you to feed this much. It's hard. It's hard having dogs and having a life for yourself. Yeah, you it's hard. That. But like I said, I think I think in years they're gonna try to ban the dogs because a lot of people are doing a lot of foolish things with the dogs. And right now in this world, there's no more I'm my brother's keeper. Back then, in my age, we was our brother's keeper. Now, no. That time has come and gone. A lot of shit come and gone. You know? That's basically it. But my brother, I'm going to tell you this. As long as we got people like you and with the passion is willing to come out here and help us do what we doing, I always feel like we got hope. You know? Hope is like, you know, we're giving them something we're that, giving, you know, we're giving them a part of the past, man, to make them want to stay there in the future, you know? Yes, sir. And I appreciate that, man. I, I, and I really appreciate the passion because I just want everybody to know, man, that look, we ain't the okay. only ones with that passion, fellas. Right. We ain't the only old people with this passion for these dogs, you, gotta, you know? And Black Ice is just another example why we try to bring that to you guys so you can at least get the feeling of what it actually feels like to do and be what we used to love to do and still to this day we still believe in that same passion that's, that's right. all for the love of the dogs so we at that point in time in the show and i know y'all done started already 
But I got to do my thing right quick. If y'all love the contest of the show and you definitely love the guests, the legendary black guys, I need them damn thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Muscles, muscles, muscles. I don't want them damn roses. 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 You know the man said, we need them damn roses. Appreciate the love, fam. Appreciate you for stopping by, and I'm going to tell you what. I just want to cover that one little piece about the shorty cowboy. Now, I know tomorrow we're going to see this shit popping up all over the internet. I'm, I, I just know we're going to hear some conversation about this show. Because what we came in conclusion was that shorty cowboy pedigree ain't right. That was one of the conclusions. No, it ain't. It ain't. We came to some other conclusions. All these dogs claiming they are a shorty cowboy, regardless of how he was bred, still ain't all shorty cowboy. Because of how he was bred, some of this shit ain't even in the middle of him. And we have shown the proof why. Okay? Genetics don't lie. You know, and it was a good thing to have him on the show, man, because, you know, that shorty cowboy story been ringing around there for years, but, you know, I ain't never seen the evidence put out there like we put it, you put it out there tonight. You know what I mean? It was clear, clear, like that push rod. He said, push rod ain't bread like that. He said, push rod ain't bread like that. He, he didn't already slap this in the head with cowboy. And then he looked at, at, at push rod and was like, oh, no. And then he goes to show us how that dog is really bred. Crazy chief. Off a of crazy chief. So, hey, for all you shorty cowboy fans, you know, scratch your head. Wiggle your ass. Because I know it itch a little bit. You know what I mean? Because y'all gonna have to explain that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, y'all can say what you want, but it, it is what it is. Can't change the past, but we can enlighten you on the truth of the past. And that was a good show tonight because he didn't just come in here talking shit. He came in here proving shit. Don't let your eyes lie because they ain't supposed to lie. Only reason your eyes will start lying because you don't want to see the truth. That's what I got to say. Hey, guess what? Hey. I'm fitting to bring it to the end. Hey, hey thanks for coming out there again, big bro. You already know you always welcome, man. I I, I know you we have we have more coming. Because this man, he has a Bible full of shit that we can discuss. He has a Bible full. We got we got we got time. You know, so he's gonna always be, you know, you're, you're always hollering for him. So don't think he's gonna go anywhere. We take our little vacations and stuff because we got things we gotta do, but one thing he ain't never done, he's never said no to me. So anytime y'all get hungry and y'all want more black ice, all you gotta do is call out like y'all do. When y'all want him, we bring him, he always comes. So you know, let's go, man. Continue the love, continue the show. The appreciation to him, man. He's legendary. He's not a self-proclaimed legendary uh, dog man. He is not a self-proclaimed legendary dog man. He is a legendary dog man because we are the one to pass those labels out. We the people. We the people. Accept it for what it is because that's what it is. He was legendary long before he got on this damn show. That's for damn sure. You know, he was a big ass thing when he came to my damn yard. And y'all see what I was working with, and I still was like, in awe. Oh, just to see the man came that way to come and see me. You know what I'm saying? That made me feel like, you know, I was something special. When I just thought I was Clark Kent. You know what I'm saying? And then when you look into his yard, y'all see what I was doing and going on in his yard. You know, and he had, he look, everything that I did, man, was, it was in a pattern, man. And, and it just looked like real good to see that he was... He, he was on the same type of track and was getting the same type of results, man. And we brothers, just keeping it real. You know, the Latinos today were the only ones that got their hands on that shit and did something with it. They let it split out over here in our part, part of the world. And, you know, we made it even greater. So don't forget that. Kind of like size them up. Deep South. 
going hard, black ice. Hey, we played a big part in that grand champion buck, grand champion made a cross. Cause a lot of those dogs that was winning was just winning, not in just they hands, we had them too. You know, so we, I'm glad to see that, hey, we shared that with you guys. You know, and put a little bit inside light. Like I said, Shorty Cowboy gonna be in a conversation and probably a lot of podcasts tomorrow. And we're just gonna sit back there and see what the, what we got to do, come talk shit too. Maybe, hopefully we don't have to bring back Ice back on the show. You know what I mean? On Tuesday for Talk Shit Tuesday. I hope they take the proof and run with it and do the thing they need to do with it. And that is appreciate the, the information. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Hey, y'all, as we close up the show and everything, I want to give a special shout out to the Sharks. I mean, not only did y'all show up, y'all showed out. And I appreciate that. This is one of the reasons why you hear me speak so highly of this channel and the Shark Tank as a brand. You know what I'm saying? The likes was up. The super chats was up. The super stickers was up. The conversation was on point. You guys were all about the show. And guess what? I seen a whole lot of new faces that probably been sitting in the back that jumped up in there in the Shark Tank today. And you know what? Them faces that I seen, guess what? They got their Shark Tanks. They got their hardware. Because some of them, they'll pop in and they'll send me an email and want to talk about the show. But I can't really give them their hardware because... They don't come back. It might be a little time before they come back, but when they pop in there, I know they've been there. I said, hey, you got to come on in so I can get you your hardware. And you know what? They starting to come in and get the hardware. And that is what I'm talking about. The other thing I wanted to say is what something the black eye said to me that was real important. Back in the day, we was our brother's keeper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we always had, you know, you always going, it's like, the, you know how the streets work. You know, it's always going to be some shit. It's just a matter of how it get handled. You know what I'm saying? But as long as we in this game right here, and right now we in the Bulldog fraternity, and I got my crew right here. This is a this is our crew right here. This is Going Hard Kennels podcast, and we have not a, just a chat room. We have a separate entity, and it is branded the Shark Tank. That Shark Tank is a part of this show. And when y'all do the things that y'all do, y'all give me all the hope I could die tomorrow. But one thing I know for damn sure, me, myself, with y'all's help, gonna prove a point. We can do this. And we can be better at what we do. We will be the ones pushing follow the disclaimer. We're going to be the ones that's going to be pushing, clean up your yard, check your cameras, feed the dog. We're going to be the ones hollering, stay off Facebook. Stay off Facebook. Get back down in the basement. Get big back in the basement. Oh, We're going to be the if ones. If you're real, you'll go back down in the basement. If you want to be real about it, you'll be in the basement. We're going to push it. We're going to be pushing the thumbs up, thumbs up. Right. We're going to be pushing, hit the damn like button. We're going to keep on pushing and support other channels. Because that's what you do as a fraternity. And if we can do it over here, and get more people on board. Man, think of the things you can do with numbers. This a game ain't over. We gonna keep scratching till they tell us. And even then, I don't even think you can tell me to come get my dang dogs. They trying. But all we gotta do is fight for our right. Live within a disclaimer. Don't give them a reason to take them. Cause if you love them, they work the fight. That's all we're saying. I'm glad to have y'all on board. So until Tuesday, you know. Shout out again to the legendary Black Eyes, man. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I got to do my little clap, 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 as always, man. I got to hit my heart thing, but, you know, I got to do it lightly because, it, it, you know what I'm saying? Because right now I'm pumped. I'm pumped because of what I seen tonight. You know, great show. Great conversation, great participation, much love.
And I, I'm going to keep saying this and we're going to say it after every show. When y'all keep doing what y'all doing and we all getting on that bandwagon, y'all know and we need to let everybody know that we always, I mean, we always, come on now. Always, always, we'll be back in the corner and we're going to always scratch the, the wind. Y'all know what's every up damn every time. damn time. Y'all keep Please. doing what y'all doing. Love you, fellas. Love hey, right. Homie, I'm in here. It's nothing but an African thing. You know what I'm saying, man. Shout out to my motherfucking people at my act like. Shout out to all you people out there, man. Y'all have a good, safe weekend. See y'all on Tuesday. We love y'all, man. Who's that dog of the day gonna be? Who's that dog of the day gonna be? I think it's gonna be Shorty. I think we're gonna put up Shorty. Let me see if I can get him. With the dead the bear cooter. Y'all know y'all, you know that got y'all. Y'all know that 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 threw a loop, but y'all saw that. Damn dead bear cooter did look like damn motherfucking dead left. Hmm. Come on. Dog of the day, y'all. Show the cowboy. <laughs> Another picture of y'all. Hold on, let me get that. Let me fix that. Hold on, let me see if I can get that other picture up. One time, one time, as the peak goes on.
the poll, y'all. Hold on, let's see what the poll results was for the night. We got 211 votes, y'all. We got Shorty Cowboy, had a congeno. Let's see, hold on, let me get this right here. Shorty Cowboy had a congenital disease which affects the front legs and the internal organs. Would you, A, walk away due to the CD trait issues, or B, breed him regardless of the outcome? We had 33% to say Breach that motherfucker just because you was throwing dog. We had 67% of y'all saying, hell no, I wouldn't breed that shit. Now we had that 67%. If it was a true fact that that 67 was a true fact, guess what? Shorty Cowboy wouldn't be a registered mayor. Just know, just know that. Remember that 33%? Here we go. So who was right tonight? That 33%. Because without that 33%, we would not be talking about Shorty Cowboy and the rest of the Remember that, y'all. Here we go. Got this give us a goddamn temperature check on that water. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee that 33% was some hunters. Don't give us a fucking give women with three legs. We are, we are breeding. All the puppies come out with three legs, but they win it. I'm getting that three-legged shit. <laughs> you tell me I can win with a three-legged dog that's got a, 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 a have a three-legged puppy that's coming out winning? I'm taking it. I'm taking a chance. Gotta take a chance. They took a chance with that little short-legged shit, and look what they come up with. A registered mare. All right? You got tattoos. Sitting up here being a registered mare. Thanks for goddamn black guys for stepping up in here bringing us clear the clarity up on that stuff too. Great show guys. Yeah, and then we had a couple that came up there. Um, what was that one that got? Uh, 
on the raid.
your head to make me sit right there. I'm going to do more. Can I come to me? Let me get it, man. Mike said, he, Mike said the, the show tonight was Aaron, uh, 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 Aaron Judge knocking him out of the park, y'all. The black Ice knocked it out of the park tonight, y'all. You did. You did too, man. You did a great job tonight, bro. Some like button, fellas. Don't forget to look at the spot on the screen. Hit that cash up if for those who want to donate. Don't forget that them super chats, y'all. They they run all the way down into the comments, guys. So you can hit the comments. There's always something out there for you guys to, to drop in and throw, show some love. I'm trying to get this, this damn merchandise up. We need y'all support. We need y'all help. Let's do this.
Before I close it out tonight, fellas, want to give a special shout out to my brothers from my 78 Sports in the panel. The General, Roster Man, Schoolboy, AKA, Mr. Richard Garcia, my brother walking down Ram. Special shout out to my main man, Bakari Hotel. My brothers for life. Appreciate you, brothers. I'm going to still hang out in the parking lot for a little while, fellas. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. But don't forget, if you haven't hit that like button already, don't forget to hit that like button. For all my new viewers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Got another special shout out to my man PBK. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. I see you.
Appreciate the love, Mr. John Carter Kramer. My man, Jeremy Kendall. I see your fam. Salute to you both. Now y'all know. It's, you know, it's Friday night. I guess it's about that time. It's about that time. You know, the time I'm talking about, I'm talking about that last call, that last call. Time to get it in. Again, brief good show tonight. For all the new viewers and for all you new viewers that's going to stop in and see this show as we move on into next week, Tuesday. I want all you guys, don't forget to hit that like button. That's a new trend around here. We're going to try to keep hitting them like buttons. Help these channels out. Help us out. Just make it a trend, you know? Other thing is, Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And support the channel. So that's all I ask. Support the channel. Again, if we doing, we're trying to do big things. You know, and all and I'm, I'm always gonna say this because I'm a true believer in it. You believe in something, you know, and, and, and you feel it in you that you wanna donate for anything, regardless of if it's cancer or children's cancer or diabetes or just reach out and help someone in need. I think people who do that do it from the heart. And that's what I liked about what I seen tonight. You know? I've seen a lot of guys step up and participate. actually just became part of the show and that's all we ask it's almost like um brothers just coming in and you, you come into the club and they they ask you to come in for free but then they got a tip jar and people just want to put something in the tip jar they ain't taking advantage of the fact that they're getting in free Appreciate the fact that they coming in and they ain't had to pay nothing. They just going to drop something in the tip jar. How many times do we do that? How many times do you go out and eat in a restaurant? You paying for your food with your service. And the young people and the people who are doing their serving and taking care of you. You make it a point to at least leave a tip. See, those are the kind of people that I am. You know what I mean? Regardless of what the situation is, you know, now trust me, I won't leave a tip on bad service. I ain't a fan of that. I don't, your service is terrible. I give you all the reason in the world to help fix it, to make me happy. But you have to understand, I'm in the service industry. I, I, I fix things for a living. And I never ever asked for a tip. And I write big bills. And it's just appreciative to know that when people give more than they have to give. My work is done, they're happy with it. They pay for it and they still go out their way to tip me something extra. And some of those tips have been very large tips. Now, I remember, I've been doing this over 20 some years, so it's not too much I haven't seen as far as the work I do. And you gotta understand, too, 90% of my customers don't know I'm the boss either. <laughs> but again, I don't think that matters. They just appreciate the service. And 
I think that's what it's all about. I don't go in bragging and boasting on who I am. I go in and I serve them and I take care of their problems. And I do it to the best of my ability and they appreciate that and they take care of it. With that extra. That goes a long way. I just want y'all to know, you know what I mean? It's not something you ask for. But when people stop out there and they give, that's the biggest thing, is, you know, in life that I don't think we have enough of. But again, I appreciate every time that happens to me. And I appreciate every time that they, y'all hit that like button. I appreciate every time that y'all show up to the shows. I appreciate everybody who will ever hit that subscribe button. I appreciate everybody who hit that super chat and super sticker. I appreciate, appreciate everybody who does that cash app. My appreciation goes far. Because again, what I'm doing, I'm trying to give back. And I'm, I appreciate the fact that people see what we're trying to do and they're jumping on the bandwagon to help us get that part done. That's the joy in doing what you love to do. Because if you don't love what you're doing, why do it? So, as I close out tonight, you know, and this is my little analog, you know what I mean? I try to finish up the show before I shut it down. And I have my little two cents to get in. You know, this is twin one, and I always take advantage of that, you know what I'm saying? But again, you know, it was a definitely a good show. Definitely a good turnout. And I look to see it get better as time goes on. So as I end the show tonight, and I'm flickering the light for the, that alcohol, you know what I mean, that, that last call, last call, last call. I hope everybody enjoys their weekend. Stay safe. And as I get ready to rock out with you, because you know I'm going to rock out with you right quick. I'll be right back. Alright, you good people. 
As we close out tonight, again, everybody have a safe weekend. Everybody stay safe. Don't forget, I will see you Tuesday night for Talk Shit Tuesday. Y'all don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. Don't forget to keep scratching. Until Tuesday, I'm out. Deuces. Peace.